Cool. Let's just play the next game right now. The system during stream, surprisingly enough. Last choice burn, yeah. Hmm. I, I think the game wants us to think it's probably um like it want like the game probably wants us to think it's I already forgot his name. <laughs> the butler guy. The old guy. But it's prob I, I feel like it's probably not him. Uh the controller? Okay, thank you. Auto dash on. Alright, let's see. Last time on the Casebook of Arn. I don't want to be here. <laughs> Last time, I, Lynn Reinweiss, went after my father out of worry when he went walking at night. I eventually lost sight of father, but then heard screams when I ran over. I encountered the corpses of a man and a woman. That was a one. Oh yeah, it was a man and a woman. No. I encountered the corpses of a man and a woman and a suspicious person. I'm trying to compare like the height of the sprite of this individual. Hold on, you know what? Let me take a picture. That might be like sort of useful. Because I feel like I get that it like the height of the of the individual might not mean much because it could just be like a sprite thing, but still. I frantically ran away and for some reason I wandered into Lugenberg, the town non-humans call home. Wow, how mysterious. And That caught me off guard. And there, I met a so-called heinous vampire. The great Arn Nine Toot. I think is how it was. Art by Lynn Reinbeis. Hold on. This is supposed to be me? And also, the mirror boy who cried wolf. Art by Lynn Reinbeis. This looks like that one anime. I forgot. Utterly unrecognizable. Since Lord Lord Arn works as a detective, I requested he investigate my father. Uh. Um. And lo and behold, um. Red Lin, you. Uh, you, the, 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 well, uh, you, uh, 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 okay, sure. And lo and behold, it's still there. There was a headless corpse in father's room, and you're, you're kind of in the way, in the, in the way, but all right. You're blocking the view, and so is your mouth! Oops, sorry. The headless corpse wasn't actually father, but my father had indeed been killed in the secret room. So, will I be able to discover the one behind father's murder? The case book of Arn starts now. Um, could you not just do this segment without me? Hey, you get back here. It's still there. <laughs> what the fuck?
sorry, I'm still impressed by this opening. <laughs> Video editing and audio editing is so tedious. It must have really wanted to put this in the game to go through that torture. <laughs> they probably got like somebody competent to do it. <laughs> Especially because like this is tech, like I guess this is like four episodes, so like it's like since there are there are like four episodes of this, I guess they wanted it to be like a series, or, like an anime series, you know, similar to that. Now what shall we do? Former heinous vampire detective. Private detective. Party searched the crime scene, right? Then Rheinweiss. Only daughter of the Rheinweiss family. And now only member. <laughs> That's one option, I suppose. My other theory is that it's the main character, and for some reason, we murder people in our sleep or something. Um, I think it might be more combo. It might be com if it is the main character, it's probably more complicated than that. Like, it's probably not just kill people in her sleep because, like, why didn't she do it before? That's one option, I suppose. But also, it wouldn't really make sense because she does meet, like, the potential accomplice. Like, and if Lynn was the accomplice, I don't think she would be able to actually meet it, you know? Then, let's get there quickly. If the police arrive, we might not be able to move as freely. Hmm. Well, sounds fine to me. Okay, I'm off. Uh, hey, hold on. No dice. Truly, Lynn, Lynn Rheinweiss. Does your idiocy know no bounds? I never expected Diana to be standing guard right outside my room. A devious trap indeed. How is that a trap? It sounds, it sounds like they want me to stay in my room until things get sorted out. She was worried about me getting knocked out too. I figured that wouldn't work. But I didn't think it'd be this bad. I suppose I should lend my aid. Please do. But, hmm. Would it be more interesting if I helped you or didn't? I've got to convince Lord Arn to assist me. Cutely, politely, arrogantly. Cutely. I feel like that's the funniest. Lord Arn! Lenny Pot would really like to have your help. Please. What's wrong, Lin Rheinweiss? Did you eat something off the ground? You are technically a noble lady, so I would suggest you drop such habits. Even I figured that was a no-go. Please forget about it. <laughs> I've got to convince Lord Arm to assist me. Politely, arrogantly. Most heinous vampire, Arn Nine Tooth. Show one to me your power. Upon our contract, I, Lin Rheinweiss, command you. What are you on about? I've immediately lost all will to help. Huh, I thought you liked that kind of attitude. How would that figure? <laughs> Sorry. Alright, well, <laughs> politely. Lord Arn, whatever it takes, I want to find Father's killer. That's not polite. <laughs> if I'm to do that, I can't be getting stopped in my tracks by something like this. Please lend me your strength. What's this all of a sudden? That was my intention from the start. Huh? I mean, it's because you said, I wonder which, be mo which would be more interesting. Which is why I said leave it to me. I'll make this more interesting.
What was that you just did? I believe you're aware of my unique power to spread disease. Of course I am. The reason... Nine Tooth is so heinous, the unblockable cheat move. Evilly, bloodily, destructively, Nine Tooth. Are you done? Sorry. So, what about that dangerous ability of yours? Wait, don't tell me you just used that. Well, if I were to kill everyone, the culprit would inevitably die as well. I don't want a resolution like that. It was a joke. No need to frets. No need to fret, so... Lynn Ryan Weiss. I hate these names. <laughs> Unfortunately, I like that kind of power now. And even if I had it, I like the motivation to use it. In addition, my ability to spread disease has changed a bit. It's changed? The ability to spread rumors. That is my forte now. Sounds like an sounds like an exciting ability for gossiping housewives. Did you say something? No, no, nothing. So basically, what changed is what you spread. Both diseases and rumors are imperceivable things that spread after all. Well. That's how I think of it anyway. In truth, I'm not really sure why it's like that. I wouldn't even use their names. I would make up names for them. Uh, nah. How mysterious. At any rate, now you'll be fine. Go forth once more. You haven't told me what kind of rumor you spread though. You'll find out soon. Go on, be off. Okay. Try to leave the room. Wait, I wanna talk to him first. You'll be fine this time. Go out once more. Understood. <laughs> Mistress Lin, I've already told you, but please stay in your room. Gentle is gotta bring made. Deanna. Wait, please. I want to go to the father's room. Why would you? Wait, don't tell me. Mrs. Lin, I've heard a rumor that you've been quietly solving all sorts of cases. So it really was true. Hmm? The detective beauty of the millennium. The very reincarnation of Sherlock Holmes. So then now, you're saying you plan to take on solving the master's case as well? What kind of turn of events is this? In that case, I'm left no choice. Please go right ahead. I I appreciate it. No, anything for great detective Mistress Lin. Oh, I suppose that means there isn't any reason for me to be here, is there? I'll be in the dining room then. Do call me if you need anything. Thank you very much. I think Lord Ar Lord Arn's got some explaining to do hey uh things got kind of weird out there supremely effective wasn't it no hold your horses why am I a great detective because I figured that would give you more freedom to investigate I spread the rumor that you're actually a great detective throughout the entire mansion it looks more like brainwashing to me true in this case, I spread rumors. I spread a rumor with zero basis. So it's very close to brainwashing. However, I won't be able to spread a rumor as powerful as that anymore. Really? Like disease, it's less likely to catch on a second time. At any rate, now you're a great detective. Shouldn't I give you full reign of the mansion? I guess, maybe? That's interesting brainwashing, yeah. The first order of business is searching your father's room, correct? It'd be a pain to become a bad just to fly there. Great detective, perhaps I'll let 
I'll have you clear a path to your father's room for me. But isn't there a chance I'll bump into someone? I mean, Diana was right outside my room. The others might be around too. Just send them off to on some task. Hmm, I guess I'll try. Once you secure a route to your father's room, call me via Zizia. Can I just talk to the mirror in the room? Yes, that will do. Did you cast? Did you catch that, Zizia? Yep, got it. Heard it all loud and clear. I like how he's got a full body, but we never actually. We probably will never get to see his full body. <laughs> Just gotta tell Arn when Linny arrives at her dad's room, right? Precisely. Piece of cake. Good luck, Linny. Thanks for your help, Jisya. Sure, sure. Now go forth, Lynn Ryan Vice. Lynn Ryan Vice, going forth. <laughs> oh, I should bring my notebook so I so I can write notes about my investigation. Okay, here we are. Case summary. Co garden dogs. And rumors. Serial murders. Added to notes. When you learn new info or rumors, they'll automatically be added to the notes menu. Refer to them to help work out the mystery. Oh, it's that manga I was searching for. Who'd have thought it'd be here? I mean, I don't have time to read this. <laughs> Collection items also appear in the notes menu, but are unimportant for beating the game. You may find one in a dresser or bookcase when you're exploring a room, so look for them if you wish. Okay, let's go. Start with pure and expensive goods. Now I'm gonna search for manga. <laughs> Alright. Oops. Diana's over this way. Oh! Here's my number one suspect. I have no business in this room. Ah, Mistress Lynn. I see you changed clothes. That brilliant doll like outfit. Doth fit you as well, but really, I always thought this one was more thy style. Hmm. But with how short she is, I kind of doubt that she's the um, the accomplice. Because the dude flying around or jumping around. Hmm. Didn't seem to be like he's he was taller than than thingy whatever her name is than Lynn. Thank you very much. These clothes are nice and comfortable, and it's not an issue if they get dirty. Since you trip so much, Elisa, maybe you should wear a tracksuit instead of a maid uniform. Mistress, a maid uniform is laced with dreams. Do not bet at comparing it against other clothes so casually. I, I suppose that's fair, sorry. With Elisa here, Lord Arn won't be able to get up to the third floor. Elisa, are you aware I'm a great detective? Yes, well aware. And that saves me some time. I want to conduct some secret investigation, and I'd like uh, and I'd like to you leave the area. Secret invest investigation, thou say? That's so cool, Mistress Lynn. But the butler Gordon hath told me to keep careful guard here. And I don't want him to yell at me, so I cannot not leave my post. Gordon told you that? 
it's not clear how the master's killer did intrude in so far. Oh, God. Jesus fucking Christ. Just to be safe, we're splitting up and keeping watch of the entire mansion. I see. So, Elisa doesn't want Gordon to yell at her. In that case, how can I get her to feel comfortable about talk about taking a request from me? Let's think. Maybe I should take advantage of my status. Obliquately. Sadly, arrogantly. Uh, uh, uh. Sadly. Elisa, I really, really want to investigate here. Just a little, just for the... Just for the littlest bit. Mistress Lynn, please don't not cry. I want to aid you too, of course. But I also careth not for Gordon's scolding. Yeah, Gordon's scary when he's mad. Very scary, indeed. -eth. So, Lisa doesn't want Gordon to yell at her. In that case, how about I get her to feel comfortable about taking a request from me? Let's think, maybe I should take advantage of my status. Arrogantly. It'll be okay, Lisa. Just who do you think I am? That's right, I'm Lynn Reinweiss. If you say it was an order from me, there's not a chance you'll get yelled at. D doth you really mean it? I mean it, come on, who am- Who am I? Mistress Lynn Reinweiss, of course. Exactly. So it's gonna be fine, Lisa. I understood loud and clear. Whatever Gordon saith to me. This is an order from Mistress Lynn. That's what I'll reply. Yes, that should do just fine. So you can take your leave with peace of mind. Yes, ma'am. I shall retreat it to my room. I'm so sorry, Elisa. <laughs> Well, let's go to the third floor. I have no business in this room. I have no business in this room. Of course you don't. I feel like she's a little too short. Less like that she's involved. Still slim chance, but not likely in my opinion. It could potentially be that Diana is like the in, the twist might be like, oh, Diana is like a traitor, like. Because she is technically the closest uh, maid to um, what the fuck is her name again? Lynn. She is the closest to Lynn out of the maids, or out of anyone, it seems, except for this guy, but except for Gordon. Mistress, why are you here? What in the world are Elisa and Diana doing? And you're wearing those slovenly clothes at that. Serious butler who never cracked a smile. Gordon. I I'm fine with these getting dirty, that's why. I still haven't had a bath after all. Very well, I suppose. It is late at mid it is late at night, and no guests should be coming, so I'll permit it. But under normal circumstances, you must consider that the next head of the Rhinebice family in such a getup. I understand. I'll change back before morning. Wait, you, wait, you now. Understood. Still, so, Mistress Lynn, I hear you're playing detective. Y yes, believe it or not, I'm quite the great detective. See such dangerous hobbies at once. Eek. Apologies for raising my voice. However, when I think of something happening to you, Mistress Lynn, Gordon. I'm glad you're worried for me, but this is my problem too. This is my own father who was killed here. Even so, I cannot approve of such actions. Please stop this immediately. Doesn't seem just asking him nicely is going to work out. If Gordon has some reason to step away, maybe. Oh, come to think of it, at least I just burned her duties to go off somewhere. I'm so sorry, Elisa. <laughs> What's that? 
Forget it, Gordon's orders. I shall be headed back to my room. That's what she said. Elise. Uh... Apologies, Mistress Lynn. Some pressing, some pressing business has come up. I shall step away briefly. But you absolutely must not go inside. Yes, I understand, of course. Poor girl. <laughs> uh, he's going that way around? No, Elisa, I'm really sorry. I have to sincerely apologize next time I see her. Er, uh, let's see, the duplicate key I got from Lord Arn. Of course, I'm going to take it out when I change clothes. Ah, Lord Arn's key just melted away. He didn't say anything about it being that fragile. I wonder if he'll give me another. Oh well. I may not know who did this, but... Ugh. I can't look at it. I thought I might do a little investigation on my own, but... I'll call for Lord, for Lord Arn's... For Lord Arn first. Did anyone see you? No issues at all. It seems you did rather well. You look a bit unwell. The key you gave me broke, Lord Arn. Uh, I only ever intended to be disposable. I didn't make it especially sturdy. Hold on, is that really what you're so depressed about? <laughs> Uh, sorry, actually, I was seeing the corpse. Oh, that. Not to worry, he'll get used to it soon. I don't exactly want to get used to that. <sighs> Very well. I intend to have you handle most of the investigation of this room, but... Go get some rest. Issue commands and I'll act on them. Thank you, that's very kind of you. That isn't it at all. Rather, I thought it was a good idea because you would know your father best. And this is at least preferable to us coming this far... To us coming this far in vain. So, what do you suggest? If there's anything eye-catching around, I would appreciate if you brought it over. Eye-catching? I wouldn't know what that means. Well, that's why I wanted you to investigate, you know? Sorry, but basically anything would be fine. In short, just bring you everything and the kitchen sink. But in short, just bring you everything and the kitchen sink? I have an idea in that case. Give me a moment. This should be enough space. Uh, drinking blood may put me in this form. There's not much, but there's not much point if I'm just letting it out again. Hmm. Click the crest. Trace the crest. That should be plenty, I think. Go forth, beast born from my blood. Carry absolutely anything of note over to Lynn Rheinweiss. Eh? What? That surprised me so much, I couldn't even fangirl over Lord Arn. How shameful. <laughs> I mean, wait, what are you doing? You're making a mess of Father's room. No one's using it anymore, are they? It's not your concern. But this room is full of memories. I have a father and mother. Memories are but past information. 
You'll forget them soon enough, so what of it? That's not true at all. Fine, fine. I'll put everything back in place later. Also, we brought the corpse. Hmm? Ah. Did you not be so rough with it? Just full of requests, aren't you? A corpse is merely a thing, isn't it? As a thing that resembles a person... As a thing that resembles a person, it's no different from a puppet. That's not true at all. It, it is, actually. It's just a meat puppet. Ah, that's right. Your father became a thing as well. I had forgotten humans were creatures who got attached to inanimate objects. Putting it like that is too cruel. Then, what is the difference between a corpse and a puppet? They're both person-shaped, but think, but unthinking, unmoving. I can't really find the words, but I think they're different. Let's try a different question. What's the difference? What's the difference between a puppet and you? I mean, to borrow what you said, Lord Arn, I move on my own volition. I see. Then, what if you were merely being? Convinced you were moving on your own, of your own volition. What do you mean by that? Oh, just engaged in some wordplay. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about it. Now, inspect to your heart's content. Okay. This painting. My beloved wife, Rose. Father commissioned this after mother passed away. And the last time I met father, he was gazing at it. A painting is just paint applied to canvas, you know? If you're curious, shall we strip off the paint? I would never do that. Huh? There's something on the back. Aww. This is... Our family photo. The last photo we took outside together before mother became bedridden. It was a rare occasion, having a picnic together, just the three of us. Mother made me a packed lunch, and father brought a brand new camera kit. But wouldn't you know it, he couldn't figure out how to use the timer. Taking this picture took a while, took a whole lot of effort. I remember mother and father's hands feeling so warm. We were happy. I wonder, was father looking at this photo last night? Really, truly, why did it have to come to this? Father, I'll take this. You may have changed a lot since then, but I believe you were still thinking of our family. What does any of this matter? Huh? So what if he was looking at it? What follows from there? Yeah. You're trying to say that there may have been some sort of code hidden in that photo, are you? Lord Arn. Right, I'll take a look. Hand it over. Let's see. Perhaps it's one of those usual. It's one of the usual tricks, like invisible ink or double layering. What are you talking about? That's not it. I'm saying that father was thinking about our family after all. That's what him looking at the photo would imply, right? What of it? I suppose I did say to investigate anything of note, but I strictly mean I strictly meant things that would lead to the killer. I thought that would simply I, I thought that would be implicitly understood. It seems I was wrong. So what of that photo? Is there some clue in it? I don't think so, but right now we need clues about the killer. Much more so than the victim. Besides, it's also possible he tucked that photo away behind the painting where he wouldn't have where he wouldn't have to see it. 
I can't be right. What's wrong with you right now? Do you have no respect for people's feelings? People's feelings? Of course I wouldn't understand those. And what you've been talking about has been no more than the basis than the baseless hope. You don't have to put it so cruelly. Hmm, did you say something? So you can't understand humans' feelings, Lord Dan? It's nothing. I'm fine now. I'll go investigate too. Oh really? That was rather pointless. What was that about? What was that about? I don't care if he's a vampire, isn't that just too cool? Well, no, I guess it's because he's a vampire, huh? <sighs> Reddy didn't think he was so ignorant of how humans feel. I'm getting uncertain about how things will go with Lord Arn from here on. You need to regain my spirits. I'll start investigating too. Uh, but Lord Arn fought over most everything. Probably nowhere left to search except this corner. Oh, that's right. Jisye. What's up? Did you see anything from this mirror? Sorry to say, but nope. If only this mirror were in the middle of the room, we'd know the killer easy as that. Not that I'd tell you even if I knew. What? Well, oh shit, wait. Okay. Well, though I guess there's no point complaining if you didn't see anything. Yep, yep, no point at all. Father's room mirror added to notes. Can be viewed from the venue, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, this was suspicious. Couldn't someone travel through here? Wait, doesn't he lie? What if his words mean the opposite of what he said? Oh shit, you're right. He does lie. That, then that either means he's lying I mean I guess it he, he either is lying about not knowing who the killer is or he's lying about not telling us who the killer would be if he knew which I mean I guess it, yeah, it doesn't really make sense if he knows the killer because he doesn't really gain anything from not telling and also, well, I guess he could hear someone's voice maybe? But also, why would he be in the mirror? Well, oh no, wait, wait, wait. We had a conversation before. Well, we'll find out. Couldn't someone travel through here? Aha. Uh -huh. Not bad noticing that. Lord Arn, would this be a plausible way of sneaking in? Yes, it's certainly one possibility. Well then, Lord Arn, please. Huh? You're going to help out, right? Please confirm where this connects to. Why do I? Yeah. Why do I have to clamber inside such a filthy duct? Clearly, my answer is no. I don't want to do it either. Besides, I mean, look, you're smaller than me, right, Lord Arn? Wait, hold on. Why are you take? Why are you taking out a bottle of, of blood?
Such a shame, Lin Rhymevice. It would appear you are the small one. Then you refuse to fly to this room because you didn't want to waste blood. Give me back my hard work. <laughs> Don't come crying to me if you exhaust your supply wasting it like that. Got it? When I choose to drink, it is my prerogative. Oh, that means you can transform into a bat now. A bat could fit through easily. Uh, you're telling me to enter that dust in place? That's right. Please go, Lord Anne. Wait, Lynn Rhymevice. What if there's a human at the exit of that vent? I've done well avoiding humans up until now. It would be trouble if we were if I were spotted. Ah, jeez, what a pain. I get it already. I'll go, okay? In exchange, please follow after me. Why? There might be some clue through the vent. And I might need your help. You promised to help me, so keep your promise. Alright, alright, I'll follow along, so get a move on. You'd better. It was a den of dust bunnies! Jeez, I have to do that. That's complaint filling wall. Yeah, that's complaint filing worthy. Anyway, so it connects to here, huh? Wait, if I I guess the duck was I guess the the vent was uh, dark, but wouldn't she, if she crawled through that? Wouldn't she notice if someone had gone through there before? Because like the dust would have like you know prints right like hand prints of you know someone being there right so i guess nobody actually used this for because like you know i don't know if they actually thought about that i just barely squeezed through so most people wouldn't be able to fit I'm just barely. Okay, no, that. Okay, no, that puts whatever her name is, the the small one, the short one, back into question, because that also means like she could fit through there easily, but anyone taller than that. Not so much. Honestly, it's pretty much just me. Or Elisa. Yeah. Ah, a bat. Oops. No. Don't give him those reactions anymore. So, you actually followed me. What in the world am I doing? Investigating. Ah, that was it. Incidentally, Rin Lynn Rhymevice, where is this? This is the storeroom. It's on the west side of the third floor next to Padre's room. I see. Hmm. Is something wrong, wrong Lynn Rhymevice? Something feels off here. Uh huh. I think it's something only you would know as a resident of this mansion. Now, what is the oddity in this room? I don't know, I've never been in this fucking place before. Uh... Present past. Okay, so it's a... It's a, it's a spot the difference. I'm seeing one difference. It's the vase right there. I wonder what it could be that... What's different? Something different between past and present. The girl tried to remember what. That's right. The vase that was here is gone. So someone did crawl through there. I remember now. 
the base that was here is gone. Well, now. Impressive to take notice of a mere vase. It was bought to commemorate father and mother's marriage, you see. There is one just like it in the second floor, too, which I'm told they brought when I was born. I see. I could do without the details of purchase, but there are two of the same? Hmm. Click the crest. Alright. Trace the crest, sure. Oh, now you. Okay. Whoa, what is? I mean, uh, I said nothing. Then Ryan Vice, are you perhaps sulking? Oh no, 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 no sulks here. Yeah, obviously. These dear memories of mine have no relevance to the investigation or you. On that, you are exactly correct. More importantly, Lynn Rhymeweiss, look at the spot where the vase was. More importantly... Uh, huh? There isn't much blood here. I thinly spread out my blood to reveal dust. Compared, compared to the rest of the room, that spot has remarkably little, little of it. Which means... That there was indeed a vase there until very recently. I knew it. I wonder why it was moved. Surely because there was a need to move it. It's probably broken, right? Like someone coming out of the vent would just fall and like it would knock it over. Could it be? I completely forgot about that part. That sound when I was heading to father's room. Well, it's not good to jump to conclusions. It's a very likely possibility. Who could have... Hmm? Hmm... <laughs> You changed back. No, no, no. Gotta be stubborn and deny him reactions. Just be quiet for a moment. Mistress Lynn, where are you? Burnt? It seems he's looking for you. You know, I was just beginning to consider seeing what the others had to say. Be off, Lynn Rhymeweiss. Understood. What will you do, Lord Arn? Arn? I'll wait leisurely in your room. Be sure to ask their alibis and such. I'll try. Oh, I found it. Found uh, another one. There was probably one in the expensive looking tableware. There's a note reading danger, don't touch. There was probably one in father's room. I need to go back there. There's a note reading, danger, even if you don't touch. <laughs> Old miscellanea. You're not really sure what any of it is for. There are lots of expensive looking things, but you don't really know their value. Now then, time to begin my own personal investigation. Lynn Rhymeweiss, sure and return for some time. I'll resume investigation here. Hmm, something you're curious about? When I went into the secret room before, it was to investigate her father. But I felt something separate was here, was there as well. I'd have, 
I'd like to have a proper look into it. Yeah. Could this have to do with your hearts? It seems it's not just... It seems it's just not in my nature to leave things that pique my interest for later. Maybe it has to do with this murder case, who knows? I suspect it's not entirely unrelated, but... You're saying Lane doesn't need to know? Right you are. Well then, let's get going. There it is. Yeah, I found it. <laughs> Nothing of particular interest here. Technically books from a variety of fields. I'm not sure what, what to make of them myself. Alas, nothing good ever comes of wishing on s such thing on such things as this. I know not who this was, but it's only a nuisance lying around here. <sighs> Boy, that's one steep drop here. What do you call that thing when humans are acrobatophobic? Acrophobic. You could simply say afraid of heights, you know? Right, right. Bet this be impossible for an, an acrophobe. I suppose so, yes. Say, by the way, this blood here... Whose did it turn out to be? It's the blood of the fellow dead in the room outside. But wasn't his head cut off in her dad's room? Why'd the blood end up here? The killer likely carried the head over here. Then they pushed her father off and retreated. Well then, where'd the head end up? What do I care? You'd probably find it somewhere if you looked. You really do just go with the flow, on. It's not the missing head I'm after now, that's why. If a need arises to search for the head, I'll search for it, I'll search for it then. Start with the blood? No. No. All right. The smell of blood is. The smell of blood are so mixed here. It makes me uncomfortable. What are you looking into here? Hmm. The way the smells are mixing. In other words, the flow of air. It feels odd. I knew it. From the echo. There seems to be- <coughs> Oh god, my throat. I knew it. From the echo, there seems to be a room below this. Dang. Was this guy a mole or what? Cowards have a tendency to scurry far below ground. Now then, where's the entrance? I mean, there's a shovel right there. I see. That title there is suspicious. That tile there is suspicious. So is the shovel just completely useless? I guess so. A woman's skull it seems. And this magic circle is likely intended for revival of the dead. The same as when I last saw him. He fell. Hit his head and died. Holding the key to his room, right? That's right. There it is. <laughs> One weird trick for removing floor tiles. By using something like a shovel as a lever, you can easily lift them up. What is even the purpose of this book? Arms, legs, chest, torso. The head of the human you want to revive, a heart to serve as the core. A heart to serve as the core. Well, I can't make sense of it. It's a sidled process to revive the dead. A 
Oh shit. There seems to be unnatural gaps around this tile. The blood's flowing into them. Sure enough. Sure enough. Let's open her up. Let's open her up then. Hmm, but they're not big enough gaps to stick your fingers in. There's nowhere to grab hold. Become misc to go in, maybe. Maybe I will. No, let's use that. This floor should be removable by human by a human. Otherwise there'd be no point in making a basement. This shovel should allow me to remove the tile by using by using it as a simple lever. Ah, clever. Here we go. Whoa, there already is another basement. Naturally, let's enter. Go, go, go. How dark. When a vampire says it's dark, that's no joke. It's not because... It's not because of the lack of light. It's the stagnant air, the hanging dust and dirt, and... Well, now... Might there... Well, now, might there be something up ahead? Wonder what? I'm getting excited. This dialogue sometimes just... I, I don't know if it makes sense or not. Oh my... Oh dear. Wait, if the skull is here... If there's a skull here, then... What's the other one? <laughs> it appears I was right. Ooh. Sounds like your heart got pounding. Twice may be a coincidence, but three times can't possibly be my imagination. One of my hearts was in this place. It's the same magic circle as up above. I think you were trying to revive the dead using that, using that heart? Perhaps the one up above was a fake, and this one was the real focus. Or else, perhaps he was putting on the mere appearance of a collaboration. Hey, so, about what's written on the wall there? Uh, I don't know how to say that. Let me try and look it up, and hopefully I don't butcher it. to see that name here of all places. What's a name? Oh boy. More names for me to have to fucking butcher. Great. That's one of the nine vampires who offered his art to create you, huh? Then... Suppose he was revived here? Not a chance. We're talking about a vampire strong enough to be called one of the nine kings. If such a presence were here, I'd sense it immediately. Ah, okay. So, you're just sensing the heart that got taken away. Even supposing he were revived... He's only a part of me, after all. And not an enemy. You sure? I know not. What do you mean you know not? Still, while well, I don't know the reason, this tells us a human was plotting his revival. That means finding the killer in this case could likely point toward my heart as well. 
Uh, why was there a cat noise? Talk about two birds with one meteor. With one meteor? It's a saying they have in Japan for situations like this. One meteor falls and it takes two fried chickens. That's basically what it means. Even with the explanation, I don't understand. A meteor would take a lot more than that. Hmm. That blood. Okay, so, why are they using vampire powers to raise the dead? I'm thinking that maybe one of the servants is actually this vampire that was summoned. Nachzira, that's a guy I'm pretty sure, because it's one of the Nine Kings. Um... I guess it, yeah, then it might have to be one of the dudes. We'll find out. The bodies of all the humans he killed. I'll admit, I'm impressed he gathered so many. This. What's up with that blood? Ah, how nostalgic. I know this taste. Nostalgic? Yes, of course it's nostalgic. After all, this blood was originally... Mine. Mm hmm? What's this now? Feels like my head is splitting. Oh. Yo, me? Talk about a careless move, huh? You, you were. Hey, hey, hey! Wasn't you gonna murderize all the humans? Ain't you just messing around? Naxira. Nah, that ain't it. I'm you and you're me. Where is this? Welcome to my world. Neon Toot? No, me. Oh, hi. I see. So you called me here. Nah, Zira. Glad you're quick to pick this up. Got it in one. It's my world inside of you. Maybe you'd say it's inside your mind. Nah. Or is it inside your blood? Hmm. I get it. But this never happened before, now did it? Well, duh, I didn't. It's the first time you're drinking my blood, yeah? It's because you drank my blood. You awakened me. The little bit of my blood left in your body. I see. I've lost... I've lost eight of my nine hearts yet. I've lost eight of my nine hearts. Yet even so, blood from all nine remains in my body. Even so, the idea that a single drop could awaken you into to the point of consciousness. That's the blood of, ancest of ancestral vampire kings for you. I'm honestly shocked. Though for a so-called king, you speak rather idiotically. What? You're making fun of me? Simply voicing my thoughts out loud. Don't pay it any mind. More importantly, that's good to know. I extend- Oh my god, I cannot focus with this music in my ears. More importantly, that's good to know. I extend my honest thanks. That's this buddy for you. I don't even understand myself very well. But I have no need for you to be conscious. 
I'll put you back to sleep. Left click, right click. Hmm. So you call it your world, yet you need to dodge out of the way? Hey, hey, hey. I just wanted to say hi, that's all. My container. I'm gonna make it a puppet. Meow, ha, 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 ha. So, even the little bit of Nak of Nakzira, Nakzira's blood flowing in me has a personality. The blood of the Nine Kings is no joke indeed. I am the heinous vampire born of the Nine Vampires' hearts. N new, oh, fuck's sake! How do you say this again? Nine to it. I am the heinous vampire born of the nine vampires' hearts. Nine to it. Hmm. But that is who I am as a combined entity. A puppet, you say. If the last heart in this body controls most of the body with me, then. Could be that my current personality is. I. Who am I? I told you, you're me. What's a scrap together puppet worrying over? You're taking my body. Arn. Arn. Arn, you okay? What's wrong? Nah, just got a little sleepy. Aren't vampires supposed to be lords of the night? Sheesh. I was worried, you know? Uh, where are you? Sorry about that. Huh? Kinda weird to hear you honestly apologize. Oh, is it now? Is it now? Well, whatever. If you're done investigating, let's head back to Lin's room. Yes, of course. Heart added to notes. Burnt. Mrs. Lin, there you are. On. Now we just have to question, like, if if uh, Nachzera can. Can take over like a normal human's body because I'm guessing he could take over um, Thingy's body Arn's body because he is technically a part of him already But if he can take over like just anyone Then that means it, like He's the killer, but he killed using Pretty much ev like literally could literally be anyone else's body I didn't expect a vampire to pull victim to possessiveness. Uh, well, yeah, because they're they're technically the same person, right? Because they had like he already has like the blood in him, and the little bit of blood that he drank was already 
like that one had the personality and reawakened the personality of one of the nine kings. A dungeon looking security guard burned. Hi, you changed clothes. That's good. Right. You can't handle blood, huh? Nah, yeah, don't embarrass me. Come to think of it. What time Heinz. Come to think of it, that time Heinz cut his finger with a knife the other day. You flat out fainted. Please forget about that. But then it's unlikely that he's the killer. Because if he can't handle blood, then he probably would have just. Like, the moment he would have stabbed or pushed down, like. The moment he would have just killed in general. He would have fainted from the. From the blood, right? So it's highly unlikely that it's him. Anyway, what is it? Actually, I figured out who the killer is. So I was having everyone assemble in the waiting room on the second floor. Really? Yes, so please come to the waiting room. He figured out who the killer is? Well, let's go see. Oh, while well, I'm at it, I want to check the vase on the second floor too. From here on, uh, you get through Lin's minigames and deductions without mistakes. You can sometimes get non-informative bonuses and GCM may have a reward for you at the end. It won't cause any changes in the main story, but try your best. Well, now I... This would be the long way around. Oh, I can go back in here. Some stuff you don't really get is gathering dust. Oh, hey. Ah! Mm, Mistress Lynn, you are most cruel. Gordon hath gotten extremely angry with me. I'm sorry, Elisa. There was a place I really, really wanted to search. I apologize for making you go through that. Please, just stop at this. Stop at it. Okay. Could I somehow make it up to you later? Oh, then... Uh... Baumkuhin. I remember it's uh, Kuhen and not Kuchen because of uh, Little Goody Two Shoes. Oh, then a Baum Kuhen, please, and thank thee. They came out with this new kind of Baum Kuhen recently. I was. I'll, I'll, I will settle for that. Understood. No. I'll get one for you sometime. Thank you kindly. Well then, let us head forthwith to the waiting room. Oh, uh, could you go on ahead? I had some minor business. Did, did thy now. Understood. I'm glad I was able to apologize to Elisa. Now for the vase. Come to think of it, didn't Elisa seem kind of focused on the vase? Yeah. Okay. I think... I think we're on the right track here. There's no reason to go this way. The vase is here, but the flowers are dropping petals. Gordon waters the flowers every day, so it's a little odd to see them in the state. For now, let's go see what Bern has to say. The fact that she was focused on the vase really implies that it's her. She was the one closest to her dad. She's the only one that can crawl through the vent. And now she's focused on the vase that just so happens to be missing. Got to go to work early in the morning. I'll see you sometime. All right. Have have a have a good night. Uh, 
That's everyone, right? Is it true you figured out who the killer is? Exactly. Yes. I realized the ugly truth. D doth it be someone among us? Among us. Yes. I don't have high hopes, but I suppose I'll hear it out. Understood. So the first, th the first thing I considered is that this was the worst. This was the work of an outsider. I mean, nobody wants someone from this mansion to have been a killer, do they? But if it was, if it were an external invader, that would likely make me accountable as a guard. I like how that's what he's worried about. So I decided to think positive and assume it was an outside job. It was an inside job. What in the world is that logic? Well, isn't it natural? I don't want people to think it's my fault. Isn't that just a bit irres irresponsible? Though, details aside, I know it'd be difficult for someone to break in. Cheerful hired chef devoted to cooking. Heinz. Yes, if we consider the security, the guard dogs in the courtyard are excellent. And in the front, we have Burn looking out. The maids and I have checked the locks on the first floor windows twice over. In short, intrusion into this mansion was impossible at the time of the mas of the master's murder, yes? That's right. I was in the dining room the whole time myself. There, I had a clear view of both the entry and the door to the courtyard. It'd be absolutely impossible for another intruder to get in. That's a fair assessment. That means it was someone in this mansion who did it. And it's a standard mystery trope for the first person on the scene to be the killer. That was even true of the book I just read, in fact. In short, the killer is... Yeah, I thought so. You, Mistress Lin! What? I mean, the door was locked and everything. It, it's inconceivable that it killed father. Oh, that's what the killer always says. Just like in the book I just read. Well, Mistress Lin, please confess. Rule 1. First witness did it. You're awful. I'll prove that me killing father is inconceivable. They don't know about the secret room, right? So the moment that... She mentions that... Burns' reasoning is full of holes. Pass through the falling reasoning and reach Burn to argue against him. No, what? If you can't talk, if you can't talk back, Mr. Slin, then you're the killer. Why did it go down? I won't let anything weird like that happen. Go. Motherfucker. What kind of... Hair brain logic is that. First of all, I was passed out. Well, look, if you just fell backwards and hit your head on the floor. Ah. If you fell backwards, maybe you could pass out all by yourself. What? Gordon! Yes, Mistress Lin? Was I passed out face up? No, you were lying face down. That's our Gordon. He paid close attention. So now what? 
So now what do you say? But you could have flipped face down while only faintly conscious. That's a that's the dumbest fucking reasoning of it. Someone fired this guard. A person able to slice the master's head off would surely have the energy to do that. Ah. Uh, who knows what a person able to cut a head off could do. What? Dumbass. Everyone. Is beheading someone that easy to do? Hmm. I would imagine it's rather difficult. Not that most people would really know. I never cut off a human's head before. Not, but it's pretty tough to do with animals. That'd be quite a task for a young girl like Lin. Mistress Lin doth be on par with me in arm wrestling. And could I manage that? I think it's not. Burned. That isn't reasoning. That isn't reasoning. It's just thoughtless ranting. Avoiding responsibility has its limits. Gordon has... Gordon and the rest of you, thank you so much. Uh... Sorry. Really, very sorry. So I'm fire this guy. Get him out of here. I just thought if the killer came from outside, it'd be my fault and I'd be fired. But I mean, if we catch the killer before then, then it's all zero sum. That's why I was resistant to calling the to calling in the police too. Don't do something like that without any decent evidence. Wait, you haven't called the police? Nope. But I'll make this work. Sorry for troubling you all. What is this attitude of yours? Burn, how cool can you be? I'm coming to doubt thy common sense. It was a joke, guys, a joke. It was just a prank, bro. Just a little ahe, you know? Do you seriously think you could you can just pass this off as a joke? Cause if so, you're even dumber than I thought. Huh? I apologize, didn't I? Do you understand what you did? Of, of all things, implicating the head of this mansion as the killer. I told you I recognize my mistakes and apologize for it. The mood between everyone is getting worse and worse at this rate. I'm sure everyone's uneasy right now. If I forgive Burn, then surely... And it's like Gordon always says, I'm the next head of the... Ryanweiss family, right? I I need to be reliable. I need to reassure everyone and keep them in order. It's all right. I'm not bothered. But mistress, Brent has insulted you. You understand? I'll be fine. I'll be just fine. Brent, you're anxious too, aren't you? Because because we still haven't caught Father Killer. Yeah, that's right. I'm so anxious and scared, I can't bear it. That is the biggest excuse I've ever heard. And that was like an excuse I would make in school. All of you feel the same way, right? So, let's not argue over something like this. Okay? If Mistress Lin says she, she's alright with it, then let's not make any further stir. You've been... You've become admirable indeed. If Lin's fine with it, I'll obey. Even if I haven't personally forgiven you. Well then, let this revol let this resolve the matter. Burned, you should be grateful to Mistress Lin. Thank you very much. Right. I'm glad everyone seems to have calmed down. Since they're all gathered here already, I should ask for their alibis.
For now, I've heard everyone's alibis. If I don't get back soon, Lord Arn might... Lord Arn really didn't notice at all how upset I was. He just doesn't understand people's hearts. Maybe it's because it's a, he's a vampire after all. How can he say my memories... How can he say my memories of our family don't matter? Would it really be wise to interact with him the same way I, I have been? It could lead to a lot of turbulence one day. Humans and vampires. <sighs> that aside, even though father has been killed, I wonder why everyone seems to be taking it so well. Maybe Lord Arn would know. No, of course he wouldn't. Some <sighs> to rely on others, huh? I should really drop that habit. Also, I just kicked the table. Thank you. I need to be a capable head of a capable head of the family. I need to be someone people can rely on. Well, anyway, I'll head to my room for now. Mistress, what's the matter? Um, there's something I wish to tell you. Could you please come to my room? Uh, okay, understood. Right, that is the part. Uh, hold on. He left. Guess I'll follow him. I want to take the uh, car. Oh. Oh, hi. Huh? I thought I'd go check on Ninny since she was taking her sweet time, but she's not here. One, two, three... Only three? Oh, there's one in the kitchen too, so that's everyone. But where's Lynn? Plus, Arns left the mirror in, in his pocket and won't respond at all. Well now, maybe something will happen. That was a very short... <laughs> I need to go after Gordon. I don't have business in this room. This is the exact opposite direction. Report to Lord Arn? No, this isn't the time. Ugh. Gordon, did you say something? No, I heard it as well. Uh Heinz. Is that Heinz's voice? Heinz should be in the kitchen pouring us some tea. Let's go. It, it's dark. Heinz, are you alright? I also just remember oh, he's dead. I also just remembered Heinz is literally the fucking <laughs> the, the sauce like thingy like the ketchup Heinz I was wondering where I where I remembered the name Heinz Heinz I'll call the others immediately please Heinz are you all right Whoa, whoa. Hey there, Lynn. Heinz. Thank goodness, are you hurt? I got hit from behind all of a sudden, but... Nah, I'm not bleeding or anything. Should be fine. Who could have done this? Gah! Gordon? Go, Lynn. I'll be fine. Okay. Gordon, why? How did this happen? Uh, somebody help. Ah, so irritating. Give more of yourself over to me. You don't even seem to get who you are. 
So here I am telling you, you're me. That's right, me. So don't get in the way. Rebel in the killing, all right? Uh, what was this thing? How do you say that name again? Nine two two. Nine two two. Nine two two. Heinous vampire, not some loser detective. Act like a puppet. Puppet, obey me. Next time, I tell you. Next time. Right, these saves are becoming more and more off, more and more often. Like, are you alright? It appears I was suddenly attacked from behind. Luckily, it does not appear I suffered any wounds. Thank goodness. I worried you. Did I, Mistress Lin? Please, dry your tears. Okay. Who who could do something like this? Well... Is Hines unhurt as well? Yes. Like you, he wasn't injured. He was just knocked out. In that case, let us discuss it while he is around. It would be a waste to repeat myself for the others. But... And also, I don't remember much. Oh, I see. Mistress Lin, you really must abandon this playing at detective business. You do realize you could run into dangers like Heinz and myself did. I tell you this because I worry for you, Mistress. Please, enough playing detective. But I... Very well, I understand. Mistress Lin, you do remember that I called you to my room, yes? Yes, I remember. For better or worse, we are alone now. So I will tell you what I intended to. Please do. It concerns the master. Father? In truth, I had wondered if something like this might happen someday. What? For you see, most of the people in this mansion despise the master. It has been two years since your mother passed. Plenty of time for things to fall apart. You yourself are surely well aware of how much the master changed. Yes. The house of the Rhine Vice has, has never been the same since then. You ought to know all this as both the master's daughter and the present head of the family. It may be difficult to hear, but I implore you to listen. All right. Now, who shall I speak about? The maids, garden, gardener, the chef, the maids. Please tell me about Diana and Elisa. Though in different ways, most would agree that Diana and Elisa are both rather appealing to the eye. Their job is to accommodate other nobles who visit the Rheinweiss estate. I assume you know what I'm getting at. You mean... The world of nobility is much dirtier than you may imagine, mistress. There was one noble who became fond of Diana. He even requested we hand her over. However, the master was killed before a conclusion could be reached. And as for Elisa, she is very clumsy. And for her missteps, she was often subjected to violence. That... that's so... cruel. Yes, it is cruel. However, you have the power to stop it now, correct? I... I won't let it happen. It can't happen anymore, it's literally... like, the dude is dead. I won't let it happen. I'll never allow that sort of thing to happen. That's good to hear. It is up to you as the head of this family to do with us as you will, Mistress Lin. Right. Now, who should I speak about? Garden Gardener. Please tell me about Burn, and Burn the Guard and Kai the Gardener. 
Both of them have fallen in love with the maids. Huh? The gardener Kai has feelings for Diana. And burn for Elise. Lollicon. Do they know about the things that have, have been done to Diana and Elisa? I do not know. Generally speaking, only the master and I should know of those things. Unless the girls spoke of it th spoke of it themselves. Kai also made a request of the master to allow a relationship with Diana. Apparently he laughed it off. Know your place, Kai was told. As for the guard burned, he and Elisa, well... They seem to finance each other in various ways. Hmm. This is just between us, but... I've been keeping an eye out for him. For him stealing things from the storeroom and selling them. Burn did what? Lisa has shown me things. He was She was given by Burnt a number of times. These were all very expensive items. I cannot imagine Burnt could afford any of them. But even with that, I truly never imagined he was such a despicable person. To paint you as a killer, mistress. Enough about that now, it's fine. Still, is that alone enough reason to jump to that conclusion? I've been carefully examining the contents of the storeroom before bed each night, and many times I've found items missing in the morning. Only the maids and the guard have full roam of the mansion at night. But the two maids have hardly ever left the mansion. So suspicion falls on Bird? Yes, I believe so. I told the master... I told the master as such, in fact. I see. Now who should I speak about? Well, there's only one left. Please tell me about Heinz, the chef. Heinz. I'm not really sure about him. He seems to me like a man who thinks of nothing but his cooking. However, because of the great pride he takes in his cooking, perhaps he felt that pride wounded by the master who never cleaned his plate. But Heinz was knocked out in the kitchen. That much is true. I don't see much need to doubt him, but just in case. That is everything I wanted to tell you, mistress. I never knew about any of this. There is no need to blame yourself. You had no reason to know until now, Mistress Lynn. Until now. Henceforth, you will be in a position as the head in as the head in which you can directly manage your servants. There's no time to be acting like a detective. Perhaps you've been considering that the culprit is one of us, but considering considering how Heinz and I were attacked, it is clear the culprit is not one of the six here. Leave these dangerous matters to us adults. Instead, think about the future of the Rhyme the Rhyme Vice family. I hate these names. I shall offer all my support as well. Mistress, is something the matter? Father, my kind father. Ever since that day two years ago, he hasn't really been here, has he? Not only that, but all I've been seeing is the nice and tidy, tidy surface of everything. I had absolutely no idea about Diana and Elisa. Because they treated me exactly the same as before. Only I... The new family head have the power to protect those two. No, all of you. And yet... Please tell me one thing. When father was killed, were they... For the most part, I suspect they were not rejoicing. While the noble status of the House of the Rhinevice 
of Rhinebeist has been lowering in these years due to the master. In word of this in uh, if word of this incident spreads, it is clear we will only further lose influence. For your sake as well, we must keep this private. Ah, it seems someone's come to visit. Mistress Lin, I implore you to keep what I told you secret from the others. You may enter. Ah, Diana, something the matter? Sorry to disturb your conversation. Heinz has prepared tea for everyone. Shall we relax a bit and sort out the situation? I suppose. I believe I am able to be up and about now. I'll come as well. While it is normally unheard of for the servants to be seated at the same table as the family head, this is the situation we find ourselves in, so please forgive it. No, I don't mind. Heinz, are you sure you don't need a seat? Sure, I'm fine. I wasn't hurt or anything. In fact, it makes me feel much better to treat you all to some delicious tea. Though, What's wrong, Lin? You seem a lot more unwell than me. It's nothing at all. I'm fine. Oh, really? Well... I've got more where this came from, so don't hesitate to ask. Okay. At any rate, who could have attacked the two of the... C could they still be inside the mansion? Not a chance. I've done a thorough look around. I mean, you're a dis you're a shitty guard, though. They're not in the mansion anymore. In fact, I have a pretty good idea of who did it too. After all, we were all together on the second floor before Heinz was attacked, right? But Bernd, don't make a ha don't make hasty inferences again. Oh, don't worry, Elisa. I'm not going to say the mistress did it anymore. But that doth not be what I meant. I didn't get a look at it. I, di I didn't get a look at who did it. I just got whacked from behind. Unfortunately, I too saw nothing. But I know they went out to the courtyard because I heard the door open. Not sure when they got inside though. Must have been focused on making tea. Oh, and this probably isn't related, but I heard I heard this sound like a bird's wings flapping. A bird's wings flapping? Yeah, like flap 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 flap. Any ideas what that could be? N no, not especially. It couldn't be Lord Arn. I too didn't notice until they they struck they struck from behind. However, I heard the door to the entryway open, and afterward I feel as if I heard them quietly mutter Mistress Lin's name. My name? Ah uh, well, I suspect I only misheard it as that given my worry for your safety. My deepest apologies for making you uneasy uneasy, mistress. No, it's okay. If they knew me, then... I can't think of anyone else. Lord Arn, why? Because he's possessed. Well, I made sure to lock the front door up tight. That doesn't matter, because he's in... He's in the secret room. Nobody will be getting inside this mansion anymore. I shouldn't mope as much, but... Man, but at this rate... It had to be the gardener Kai, because he's not here. That's the only answer I can think of. Diana? I would never do something like that. Gosh, I was just joking, okay? Come to think of it, you two did have a bit of a relationship, eh? Oh, I'm so jealous. Well, plus it sounds like you were made to do all sorts of nasty stuff, Diana. Someone fired this guy. Get him out of here. 
Isn't it kind of best the master got killed for you? Burnt. I get it, I get it. Right, right. So sorry. But it's nigh undeniable, right? True. I can understand wanting to suspect Kai since he isn't present. It's not what I think. It's the facts, right? If the culprit isn't one of us, I can't think there's anything left. There's anything else left. I suppose so. Yes, you would want to think that. But don't you have a reason to feel guilty yourself, Burnt? I can understand why you'd seek to point your finger at Mistress Lin for, at Mistress Lin or us. Huh? What are you talking about? Diana, stop this. Gordon. I shall make it clear as day here and now. Burn is stealing jewelry, jewelry from the storeroom. Huh? Now don't be ridiculous. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you trying to keep it a secret? If that were the case, you should have been more discreet about it. You do know I've witnessed countless, countless instances of you entering the storeroom late at night. That's just for security purposes. Is it really? Alisa often shows me accessories she she says she received from you. But I just can't wrap my head around purchasing such pricey things on your income. And that's why you're treating me like a thief? Don't you think it's strange too, Alisa? Human trash like him would never be able to afford such valuable items. What? I wasn't aware of anything like that. Oh, I'm sure. If you did know, you'd be completely... You'd be complicit. So naturally, you would say you know nothing. It's the truth. Please believe me. Hmm, should I? Elisa, you hated the master too, didn't you? That's the everyone though. Whenever we had guests, we would always come back in tears. If only the master were gone, am I recalling your words right? I I could say the same about you, Diana. And the Heinz and Gordon often talk late into the night. And could they not be suspicious too? Look. All we were talking about was food to try and help the master's health. Elisa, don't try to change the subject. I mean, I mean, I... Hey, stop it. Elisa can be a killer, right? Ah... How nice of Elisa to protect you. Is that why you killed the master for her sake? You wretched. What the hell? Don't get in my way. Ah, what a mess you made of my tea. Huh? So what are you gonna do with this? How lovingly do you think I worked on this? Thinking of you guys all the while. Who cares? Have the maids clean it up. Oh? What are you saying? If you don't even give it a taste, what was the point in preparing it? What are you on about? Getting hit in the head make you lose your marbles? Oh? Am I not making myself clear? I'm telling you to lick it. Save for every bit of flavor, understand? You're nuts. I think I'd prefer that to a guy who's only been making everybody uncomfortable. Come on, lick it. Get a grip, you. Get a grip, all of you. What's going on here? This, this isn't. You're all being so cruel. I don't understand it at all. Weren't we all together when Heinz and Gorgon were attacked? The culprit isn't one of us, right? So there's no reason to argue. Uh. It is as Mistress Lin says. Back, back in your seats, everyone. I said sit down. <laughs> Mistress Lin, I am terribly sorry. I'll go to my room and cool my head. Um, um, I... Elisa, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said all that. Uh, um... Indeed. It seemed we all need some time to cool our heads a bit. 
What is this? What is all this? Everything has gone wrong here since mother passed. From the father's murder. It's only looking to get worse. I... I have to be reliable and keep everyone in order. I'm the head of the Brian Weiss family. So I have to fulfill that role. I need to be protecting everyone, and yet... Attack details added to notes. When did I get back to this room? Lynn Rhymevice has yet to return as well. Hey, Jisia. What? Explain. Explain what? I have no memory of what happened after I drank the blood in that secret room. What was I doing? I don't know. You're the one who kept the mirror in, in his pocket. Sure, you weren't sleeping or something. How useless. Jeez, that's mean. Look, even if you were up to anything, I couldn't see a thing. Because I can't see... I can't see it with normal mirrors. Hmm, I see. By the way, what is Lin Rhyme... Uh, what is Rin Rhyme Vice doing? Don't know, but I think she's in the dining room. The chef guy and the maids were bringing tea there. Don't be absurd. What are they casually drinking tea for? Don't... Don't got an answer for ya. I'll go on the stroll. A stroll? I'm going to walk around the mansion for a bit. My mind's not working well right now. I thought you were in this room because you didn't want humans to see you. It's no problem at all. So long as no one sees me. <sighs> I was just thinking I could do some... Uh, I could do with some thrill. Well, I won't stop you. Alright, I'll take a turn around. See you later. Well, except I'll be coming with. Don't stop me in your pocket this time, okay? Um... Guest dining room. Oh shoot, so the humans were gathered here. L Lord Arn? Who are you? Ah, uh, um, uh, just lost, don't worry about it. Intruder, restrain him. Yes, I sense enough humans there that I can easily imagine that happening. It would be wise to not go that way. Of course. There's no reason to go in the guest room. Already went in there once, when you infiltrated the mansion after all. It was an uninteresting, ordinary room. Come to think of it, the mansion's humans were, got, were gathered up ahead, weren't they? That's right. There's nobody around now, so you're fine to go there. I can't imagine there's a point. I have no particular objective there. Well, I suppose I'll take a look. Waiting room. Oh, volume 5. On. Notes. Collection. Wait, I can read these? I mean, might as well. Chitika is a normal middle school girl who is in, who is in love with love, like you, Kari Chan. After school one day, as Chitika pinned for the object of her affection, her best friend told her a shocking truth. You know he's got a girlfriend, right? For real? In that moment, Chitika's body was engulfed in light. Chitika, who becomes a Puella Magi when she's surprised, tries to keep presence of her mind another day. But then, her best friend makes a shocking confession. The truth is, I'm not human. For real? <laughs> a battle with 
with her best friend begins with the fate of humanity on the line six volumes in all so I, I'm almost done with them after managing to make peace with her best friend Chirika watches her favorite band perform on TV as usual but then the band's leader makes a shocking announcement we've decided to break up for real? Chirika begins a quest to resolve the musical the musical differences between the members. After whoops, after converting her favorite band into a gospel group, Chirika goes to the store for her favorite snack. But after, but after her search proves fruitless, her, the clerk makes a shocking revelation. Ah, it wasn't selling, so we stopped stocking it. For real? To boost the popularity of youth-flavored potato chips, Chiruka begins recording a product review video. <laughs> what is this manga? Now a popular streamer. <laughs> All right, now a popular streamer, Chiruka can make a decent living for a middle schooler off ad revenue. However, Chiruka's father then reveals a shocking truth. Actually, I'm, I'm the ruler of all demons, just randomly. For real? <laughs> a battle with her father begins with the future of humanity on the line. What the fuck did I just read? What? Ah, uh, what a bore. You haven't done anything yet, have you? And I don't have the motivation to do so. What the hell? Well, in that case, I've got good news for you, Arn. Oh, uh -huh. what is it? One of the maids is headed to this room from the side opposite the one you came in. Hey, what about that is supposed to be good news? Bored and begone, I suppose. That said, I still don't wish to be seen. I'll hide myself then. Naturally, I'm not going to bend over and prostrate myself. Is this the mansion where even the maids patrol? Hmm, that's... Hey, Jisya. What's up, Arn? Bring Lin... Brian Vice to that guest room. Hmm, but Lin doesn't seem to be in the room of a mirror. What's that? Such lousy timing she has. Oh, hold on. I can make this work. Can you? Then do so. Okay, here I go. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you to take this in an interesting direction. Then Ryan, Ryan Vice. I hate these names. All right. All right. I'm gonna be right back.
Um, anyway, oh, where are my headphones? There they are. Cool. All right, back. Have you come down, Mistress Lin? Yes. Then I would like to formally discuss what's to come. Don't you think we ought to call back the two who left? True. Well then, Hines, you bring Burned here. Me? Are you serious? Yes, you. Well, whatever. Okay, I'll go get him. Edisa. Yes, sir. Can I trust you to get Diana? Uh, um... Well, basically... I'll go call Diana. No, no, there's no need for that, mistress. I'd like to get moving around a bit. And it's not like I can go running around or anything, so... Please, let me at least call for Diana. If you say so, mistress. Besides, I think Elisa would... Have some trouble looking her in the face right now. Mistress Lynn, thank you so much. Don't mention it. You and Diana share the same room, right? I'll go pay her a visit. It's my duty as the head of the Rheinweiss family to do something about all this, isn't it? Is the killer really Kai? For now, I'll call Diana back from her room. I hope she can reconcile with the others. No, in fact, helping her do so is my the family head's duty. Diana, it's me, Lynn. Huh? Diana? Door isn't locked. It can't be! Diana? Huh? She's not here. Where could she have gone? Lenny! Hey, Lenny! Is that you, Jisha? Yep, it's me. There's something I want to tell you, so come over to the mirror. Uh, understood. Well, wait, first, uh, I want to check something. There isn't much of a note here. Lisa's dear teddy bear. Its name is Hamburg. Like the city. Lined with books about maids. There it is. Let's read it. That's the last one, I'm pretty sure. Chirika defeated her father in a battle to death. However, she lost all of her magic power. That's when Chirika's best friend made a shocking remark. That upperclassman's girlfriend is with me. For real? In that moment, Chirika's body was engulfed in darkness. Well, Amaji, for real, Chiruka part one, and I didn't even notice. Um, the suitcase is packed with clothes, but there isn't really anything of note. Yoo hoo, Lenny! Jisia, what's What's the matter? What's the matter with- What's the matter with you, more like? You haven't come back in ages! Sorry, there's been a lot going on. Arn was mad about you being late. Lord Arn? Was he really? That's right. Lord Arn would never attack the others. Who did what now? Did he do something like that? Yeah, uh, if you don't know, it's GCA, it's fine. Hmm? Well, maybe you're right. Do you know something? Not really. I just thought it'd be interesting if it was true. Anyway, I've got a message from Arn. I made it tell it to you. A message? Then, yes, I want you to tell me. 
Hmm, should I though? What? Okay, how about this? If you entertain me, I'll tell you. Entertain you? Yep, yep. You've got kind of a brooding face going on, Lenny. Make it look more like you're having fun. I see you're said and done. I mean, this really is an, an enjoyable situation. Then I'm not gonna tell you. What? Too bad. Because it has to do with the tall maid. You mean Diana? <laughs> How's this? Hmm, good enough. How about you go ahead and tell me some puns? Puns? You, I'd really rather hear the message. I've got a good pun. What's similar between a sloth and a depressed man? They both hang on the tree. Isn't that funny? I'm sure you're, I'm sure you're laughing your ass off right now. Totally. Eh? You won't do it? I mean, I'm fine not giving you the message, but... Uh, understood, I'll do it. Please, let me do it. That's the ticket. We'll play a game where I give a prompt, and you finish it by making a pun. And you better take part... Enthusiastically, or it will really bore me. I don't really follow, but I'll just do as uh, GC says. I'll do my best. For instance, I'll say, how's the omelette? Then you say... Excellent. That's good, right? That'd be the standard pun, sure, but I prefer answers that are a little more contrary. Like, cracking good, for instance. Cause you crack eggs to make omelettes? Yeah, I didn't even- I, I saw that, like, with the corner of my eye and I didn't even realize. Uh, I didn't really read that. I see, that's tricky. Think you got it now? Also, um... Well done. These headphones are <laughs> probably not gonna last. Think you got it now? Do you find jokes more amusing the more incredibly lame they are? I think I get that. I'll show you the talent that's earned me the nickname Pun Master Lin. Dang, how perfectly lame. Alright, seems you're on board. Then let's get started. A slow pace will spoil the mood too, so you've got five, five seconds to come up with an answer. Oh, and there's no need to force yourself to come up with something contrary every time. Got it! You can tune a piano, can't tune a fish, and a violin, and not a bass. Can't tune a fish. A broken pencil is pointless. A sick lemon needs lemonade medicine a lemonade. <laughs> Thanks for taking the silly game so seriously, Lenny. Your puns were average, but it amused but you amuse me, so I guess that counts. Okay, I'll tell ya. I'm not super satisfied by that, but oh well, as long as you'll tell me. Now about the message from Arn. Ah, I forgot. Yes, please tell me. Yes, please tell me that. He says to come to the second floor guest room right away. Right away? Yes, right away. Thanks to you, I'm absolutely going to get there later. Get there later than right away. Hey, I was trying to just tell you, but you looked so glum, Looney. Did I help you lift your spirits a little? Uh, so you did it out of worry for me? Who knows? Maybe I did it purely to mess with you. That also seems probable. But still, thank you so much. Or very much. Don't mention it. Now come on, you better go, huh? 
course, hurrying at this point won't change the fact you're late. We can probably take it easy, you know? Jeez. It's your fault I'm late, Jeez, yeah? Not my problem. Okay, then I'll wait with Arn. Right, see you later. It's Jeez, yeah? We should always be with Lord Arn. Doesn't know what I'm talking about. Then maybe it wasn't Lord Arn who attacked Ainz and Gordon. For now, I won't know anything until I meet him. Right, if I'm meeting Lord Arn, I should tell him everything going on. They might not even be necessary anymore, but I'll report everyone's alibis too. I don't think we can afford to make a detailed timeline, but I'll at least cover the important bits. Hmm? I was in my room, but moved to the kitchen. I found a suspicious figure. I was al alone in my room. These are my summaries of what everyone said they were doing just before father was killed. The most curious one is definitely the girl felt something amiss with the servant's testimony. Fake the statements that Lynn is like is likely most curious about to select it. Um, probably this. Heinz's testimony was that he was in the kitchen the whole time and he said he thinks he saw a figure outside the kitchen window. Wait a second. Wait, uh, isn't Kai... Wait a second. Hmm, let's think about this some more. I was in my room but moved to the kitchen. Apparently Gordon was in his room for a while. Maybe this other thing. Alone in my room. Apparently Diana was alone in her room the whole time. I mean it was late at night, so yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I guess it has to be this, right? Heinz. This is curious. Okay. The fact he only thinks he saw something means the guard dogs in the courtyard didn't bark. Oh wait, unless... That was right before the father was killed. Okay, never mind. They're well trained and generally try to bark and scare off any people that come. Since he didn't hear them though, he added that he might have been mistaken. But I really wonder about this. I should probably keep it in mind. Wait, I went to the master with what? Wait, I went to the mess with water, then was alone in my room. I was in the dining room the whole time. That's dining room the whole time. Burnt was apparently on guard in the dining room the whole time. And he says he saw both Elisa and Gordon go to the kitchen. Okay, so Gordon's one checks out. Because in his testimony, he said that he was in his room and then went to the kitchen. And now Elisa says that she went to the master with water. But the fact that she's saying that she went to the master is... Heinz also met both of them in the kitchen. So I don't think there's any question of that. Huh? That's strange. Isn't this contradictory? Wait. There's a contradiction... In these three testimonies, click the parts of the text. Wait. You can press the ponder button in the lower right to have linear elaborate. Using ponder will not count as a mistake. Mm, 
sure. Diana and Elisa both share the same room, and yet, there's a contradiction in these three testimonies. Oh! Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, she said she went to the master of water, then was alone in her room, and then she said she was... And, and then there's also Diana who said she was alone in her room. Wait, what? Okay. What is it? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I have to click on the actual word itself. They share the same room, yet they both say they were alone. Is one of them lying? Or are both? What exactly does this mean? Diana. Fun. I feel like it counted as a mistake, so I want to retry it. Just because... Just because I didn't really know I had to click on, like, the word itself. I was just kind of clicking on the statement. I just, in general. Continue. Um. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to redo a few things again. Well, let me just... Actually, I get to retry the um, the thingy again, the puns again. good. For most people would say excellent. I alone dare say cracking good. Yeesh. Such a smug face. But here, I like it. Welcome to Lynn's Punnery. My jokes do what no pun intended. Yep. Seems like you'll handle this just fine. The you find jokes more amusing the more incredibly lame they are. I think I got that. I'll show you the talent that's earned me the nickname Punkmaster Lin. Dang, that, that how perfectly lame. Got it. Into the piano, but you came to the fish. Broken pencil. It's pointless. Sick lemon needs lemonade. <laughs> I can take this silly game so seriously, Nani. Funs were average, but it amused me, and so that's what it counts. Okay.
There we go. Just curious. Um, Burn was apparently on guard in the dining room the whole time. And then he saw the police and Gordon go to the kitchen. Heinz was also met both of them in the kitchen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Alone. Uh, oh, right. Uh, I need to click on both of them. They share the same room, yet they both say they were alone? Hines and dogs added to notes. Is one of them lying or both? Or both? What exactly does this mean? Diana. It'd be nice it'd be nice if I could ask her about this. Courtyard figured out it's the notes. I don't have business in there. I don't want to take a bath. I do want to take a bath, but Diana takes priority right now. Oh. He said to come to the second floor guest room. This would be going the long way around. Oh. Dining room. Jenna not being in her room. It's best I don't let the others know yet. No reason to go this way. My bitch. He said guest room, but there are two of them. Which one would it be? I hear voices from this one. Is it Lord Arn and Chisia? Oh, that sounds like Diana and Kai. Why is Kai here? Why not? The guy who was standing in our way is dead. We're f you're free now. Gardener who loves animals. Clearly a Chad. Diana has good taste in men, clearly. Haven't I told you countless times I can't do it? To leave this place, I simply can't. Please, don't come back to today. If anyone sees you, I'm telling you, it'll be fine. Mistress Lynn, why? Diana, what were you just doing with Kai? Y you have it wrong. Kai hasn't done anything. Please, don't tell anyone you saw Kai here. Kai is under enough suspicion as it is. Suspicion is one thing, but didn't he say that with father dead, there's no one left to get in your way? That's not it, Mistress Lynn. Diana, you were lying. You said you were in your room the whole time before father was killed. But after seeing Kai, now I know. The mistress? This is straight up from Dr. Mob. <laughs> Diana, I'm going to have you tell me the truth. Kai came here when father was killed too, didn't he? Nothing of the sort. He only came here the one time just now. Show the reason to think Kai came here earlier. The girl offered the maid the information that proved their claim. When the finger is on the correct position, press confirm or click the screen to select that card. Wait, what? <laughs> Chef Heinz saw a figure past- Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hmm. 
Because apparently it said that if if there are no mistakes, there's um, like a prize or some shit at the end. And I'm just curious to see what that is. What? What are you on about? Hold up. What? If it's on the correct position, press confirm or click the screen to select that card. Okay, that's like that. The chef Hein saw a figure pass through the courtyard before father was killed. Was that not burned? He was doing his duty as a guard. No, as a matter of fact, it clearly wasn't burned. Because... Uh... Guard dogs? What? Hold up. Aren't the guard dogs supposed to not bark at anyone? Guard dog. Our guard dogs bark, bark at anyone with a few exceptions. Myself, father, and Kai. You know that too, right, Diana? Well, yes. But to enter the mansion from the courtyard, you need to go through the dining room door. And Bruno was on guard there, so... Now what are you trying to tell me? Wasn't he just here in the second floor guest room? Um, he went out of his way to meet you on the second floor because he didn't want anyone to see him. And Kai would be able to do it, wouldn't he? Thanks to the ladder. The ladder, obviously. Only Kai is able to set that huge thing up. Well, but there is a problem with meeting in secret at night. There is, since you can only meet in secret at night. That starts to look like a motive. No. Motive was. Love. You both have feelings for each other, don't you? But you can't be wedded with someone undesirable, even though you desire him. I know a lot about romance yet, but. That's really painful, isn't it? Diana, yeah, no, please tell me the truth. Even I was able to figure it out easily. You'll be caught before long, I'm sure. Words. As it stands, I really am going to think the two of you killed father. If I'm mistaken, then please come clean. Understood. I will tell you the truth, Mistress Lin. Lynn Rhineweiss should be arriving at the guest room right now. Hmm? Why was Mistress Lynn? Damn it! Gonna try again another way. He's the gardener, as I recall. I see. So he's able to indulge, intrude without the dogs howling at him. I thought you fucking fell. I may not want to show myself to humans, but I can't simply let him escape. Very well. I'll restrain and question him. Of course, if he makes it outside the grounds, that's trouble. 
because the key I entrusted to Lin Reinweiss has been destroyed. And that key also served the function of allowing me free entry to this mansion. With it now gone, should I leave these grounds, I'll need permission to get back in. So I have to capture him within the courtyard. The vampire transformed into a bat and blocked the fleeting guard gardener's escape. A bat? What's it doing in a place like this? What are you? But not human, I just have a few questions for you. Monster! I don't intend to hurt you, but... <laughs> now calm down, human. Wait, I can't let him circle circle around to the front. I've yet to check with Lynn Rhinewise how much she considers to be part of the house. She thinks past the front door is outside, that's bad. Perhaps this courtyard is just an exception. Sheesh. I have to restrain you. The bat the vampire created chased after the fleeing gardener. Ah! Come here, you fuck! Wah! Trace the crest. The more you struggle, the lesser your freedom to move. Do the ticket. Let go. Help me. Not so noisy, human. I just want to talk for a bit. That's gotta be a lie. Monster. Hmm. Lynn Rhymewise caused it to slip my mind, but that's right, humans do react like this. What are you gonna do with me? Kill me? Now, how can I get him to obediently talk? You're so sloppy, me. What? Was I always such a pushover? Remember, you heinous villain. Here, I'll lend you a hand. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Human. I'll have you tell me everything you know. Oh, don't worry. As long as you obediently own up, I won't kill ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Violence is just the best. Rule over those puny ants with power. Go ahead, kill him if you wanna. Elope? Yes, the truth is... That kind of eloping? Yes, I'm sure you're thinking of the right kind of eloping, Mistress Lin. When Burnt found the master dead and screamed, I was meeting with Kaya here, and had made a plan to escape the mansion with me. I wasn't informed how we were going to escape, but at that time he told me to come to his room. Why didn't you tell me from the start? There was no way I could. It's obvious we would be suspected. Even you, mistress, came to that conclusion. But please believe me, we would never kill the master. And there's no reason for us to have knocked out Heinz and Gordon. You're right. I think it's unnatural how those two were attacked. 
but if you two really intended to flee, then you could have ignored you could have ignored Bryn's scream and just done it. So please tell me, why couldn't you run? Because it was much too scary to descend from the second floor. Excuse me? It's obvious I couldn't do it. From such a height as this? I never expected him to propose climbing down a ladder from here. What is he even thinking? There's no way he doesn't know. I can't even go out on the terrace, you know? That's right, you have an extreme fear of heights. That's right, so I told him. I mean, okay, so it's highly unlikely that she pushed... That she pushed her dad from the thing because she would be too scared to do it, right? She'd be because that thing is like really fucking tall. If I have to climb down from here, I'd rather dig a hole in the ground and leave that way. It's truly inconceivable. If only the whole world were flat. And all buildings should be one story. That might be going a little far. Well, then what was Kai here for? What was Kai here for earlier? He told me he'd think of another plan, so I should come back at this time. And you know what that plan was? Climb down with a blindfold. Ah, <sighs> what an absolute idiot. That is, um, yeah. And I suppose I might as well take this chance to put it all out there. The truth thing is that yeah, the truth is I'm the kind of person who gets more passionate the more obstacles there are to love. <sighs> My dear is trying to take me away from the undesirable things forced upon me. It's just such a romantic situation. Right, that sort of thing is inspirational. Lovers that can't be wedded like Romeo and Juliet? If we can't be wedded, then we'll just die, the both of us. Do you and Kai love each other that deeply? Yes, and so I'm sure. It's for the best the master died. Eh? Oh, please, don't misunderstand. I'm not saying we killed him. The master loved his wife so deeply, you know? Through death, he could go to the same place as her. He's probably overjoyed, don't you think? D Diana. Don't you feel the same, Mistress Lin? I was always wondering, really, why wouldn't he just die? What in the world are you? And you were too... And you too were forced to be a mistress for the master's sake, weren't you? So you don't have to do any of that anymore, yes? Forced? I, I did that of my own volition. The master was troublesome for everyone in the mansion. And the person who attacked Gordon and Hines seemed to have left now, correct? Wouldn't it be fine to just end it here? That's... I could never do that. If it really wasn't Kai, then who was it? I... I'm... Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you were saddened by the master's death, Mistress Lin. But you do think so too, don't you? That the master must be happy with his wife in the afterlife. I... I can't understand what you're saying. I won't tell anyone about Kai, so please just leave this room. Right now. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't think you'd be so offended. I'll leave right away. Wait, woman. Kai! Lord Arn? Don't move from that sp Don't move from that spot. I'll kill him. Same goes for if you scream. Lord Arn, what have you done? You shut up, Lin Oh, what was her name again? Uh Lin Reinweiss. Yeah. Lin you shut up, Lynn Rhymeweiss. 
I'm talking to the maid there. Got that? Yes. Lord Arn. Now, woman. I have this man's fate in my hands. There were no lies in what you told Lynn Rhinewise, were there? There were not. <laughs> you know, I talked with this human. And if I find any discrepancies, I'll know one of you is lying. With that out there, I'm gonna ask again. You sure you didn't lie? Uh, it's true, I'm not lying, so please don't do anything cruel to Kai. Lord Arn, please stop. Why would you do this? <laughs> Maybe I'll believe you. Go on. Tend to him as you will, woman. Okay, are you alright? I was up on the terrace and that man came out of nowhere. So I gave him a good talking to. Hope it helps to solve the case. Lord Arn. Sure enough, you attacked Hines and Gordon? Hmm? Ah, right, right. I thought I'd put on a fun show for everybody. Got some pretty good blame throwing going on there, didn't I? Seems my performance had an effect. Performance? Why would you do that? Oh, I just need a little. I just added a little spice to things. It's not like anybody died, did they? So where's the problem? Of course. If I can get better with this body, you might see heads start flying. Enjoyed it, right? Violence is great, ain't it? What in the world are you doing? Um... Yeah. When blood besides mine is used for abilities, the relative concentra concentration of mine goes up. Which is why I thought I'd take that chance to wrest control of this body. But it's not going like I thought. Our thoughts are all mixed up. For someone who doesn't know who he is, he seemed pretty into this whole detective thing. Me wanting to murderize you. Me wanting to murderize you wanting to play detective. It's all become a mangled mess. I won't be satisfied with this. I want to kill them all. Give your body and mind to me already. Got it? Me? Oi. Take a look, why don't ya? This beneath breath's trembling, see? Must be scared of me. <laughs> hmm? What in the world are you doing? What in the world am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Very true, Lynn Ryan Weiss. What'd you say? Okay, that was badass, I'm not gonna lie. That, that, was, that was way too cool. What am I doing indeed? I completely let my guard down to this low life. Let's see. I'll be sure to keep that in mind, that this kind of thing can happen. Oi, 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 oi. You got an attitude there, don't you? You're me, right? Let's get along. Indeed, I am curious. Who am I exactly? But I am sure of one thing. You are not me. What? Close one, close one. Useless, 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 useless. Your attacks won't work on me. What are you talking about? You just run from one, didn't you? 
You also dodged my attack back when I first met you. I thought your body only turned red because you had absorbed my blood baths. But it seems I was mistaken. Huh? You're imagining things, surely. Well now, it seems I hit the nail on the head. You can't keep up that red invulnerability for long, can you? No, I totally can. So you're just an idiot after all. That's really how it is. You. Don't make fun of me. Enough, I'm gonna kill ya. Easier said than done. When you're talking to a vampire. I'm gonna... I'm gonna drink all your blood right here. Even if I gotta lose my own heart. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take you over. I'm gonna take control of your body. I see. So that's how this body works. And so indeed, the owner of my last remaining heart is... How amusing. I love the great... Arn... Mu... Nine... Toot. I think it was Nine Toot, right? I love the great Arn Nine Toot to drink up the last lingerings of your blood. I can't imagine one such as me being bested by this fool again. I suppose I should observe his movements. The Great Arn is not one for brutish strength. The joy of battle is in knowing you have completely conquered your opponent. As for the opponent, I aim to conquer this time. I don't believe he has the brains for complex attacks. Most likely, I need only understand the workings of how this, his body changes color. Vampire watched carefully to note when his foe's body changed from red to black. Huh? Huh? You're never beaten by running, see? I see. What causes his body to revert to normal is distance, emotion, impacts. Um, impacts. Impacts. So after being attacked, he must revert briefly. Right vulnerability lost upon taking a hit. That charge does seem rather mighty, but. Not so much that I can't see through it. And if you were able to move around freely at that speed, it would be quite troublesome, but... I'll observe it once more. The important part should be focusing on where my attack hits him. If my body changes color at the same spot... If his body changes color in the same spot as before, then it should be as easy as placing a trap there. Hey, 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 hey! Ain't gonna let you plead for your life now. Hmm. My conjecture seems to hold strong. He attacked in exactly the same way. How naively honest. Well, he is an idiot after all. He can't seem to change direction either. He'll just charge forward in a straight line. Perhaps... In this complete state, he can't perform complex thought. Well, it's not my concern. If I set up a trap around there, he should fall for it. Just like that. Based on his two observations, the, va the vampire laid a trap. In the place he expected his foe's body to turn back, to turn black. I think it was around here. Yes, this is the spot. Indeed, that'll do. 
Now. You and your lousy thinking. But now, how about this? How do you like that? Can't set up a tra trap if you can't see me. True. It's harder to tell than before. But I'll just focus on when he's visible. Aim for the moment he appears. I suppose he has a sub to consider. He could just attack me while invisible. Not that I'm complaining. I'm quite grateful, in fact. Just in case, I'll observe, I'll observe him one more time. I'm gonna relish killing you. Right, I've understood the pattern. I've also understood what complete buffoon he is. I'll place a trap there without hesitation. Okay, um... I don't remember, it was like around here-ish. Yes, this is the spot. Indeed, that'll do. No, it was right there. Hey, hey, hey. Give me some more enjoyment here. Shit. I could have made such an error. I need to lay the trap where he's not red. Where there's no point. However, I'm sure I have it now. Here. Yes, that's the... Is it though? No. No, perhaps somewhere else. Let's do it here. Indeed, that'll do. Please. Yes! There! Good. Damn it. I suppose this means I win, yes? Not that I particularly understand what it means to win over my own blood. Well, guess that just figures. I'll have to wait inside you for my body's revival. Enjoy your detective junk while it lasts, puppet. Yeah. <laughs> How amusing. See if you can. Wait, hold on. Hold on. How do you say this again? Where's my fucking phone? I can't find my phone. Oh no. I don't know where. See how do you say this fucking thing again? Please don't. Uh, no. Zero. Okay, um. Nach zero. Nach zero. Right. How amusing. See if you can. Nach zero. Entertain me further. Thinking and acting for myself, or so I believed. But perhaps even these thoughts are being controlled by the blood inside me. <laughs> what a delightful body, if I say so myself. Well, I'll ruminate on this bit by bit. I feel as if I'm forgetting something. Well, yeah, kind of. What in the world are you doing? Doing those horrible things to Kai, and even attacking Gordon and Hines. It's the next head of the house of Rhymeweiss. Can't forgive harm brought upon those of my estate. I'm going to protect them. Are you listening? Ah. When did I get here? Oh, and then Rhymeweiss. 
What is it? You seem offended. I don't really get what's going on. Were you not listening to me? I knew it. I knew you were just a cruel vampire. What's this? Weren't you well aware I'm a vampire? Hmm? Wait. I didn't rhyme wise. I just remembered. That was... Enough. I'll explain later, okay? Right now, we need to get Kai to a bed. Please stop it. Diana, um, I... I won't tell anyone about this. So please, just stay away from Kai. Understood. I'm sorry. Zordan, let's leave. Right. Just hear me out for a moment, Lynn Rhymewise. Away. Hmm? What's that? Please just go away right now. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Just what it sounds like. I don't want to see your face. I didn't think you were that, the kind of person to do something so horrible. I was a fool to trust you. Now hold on, Lynn Rhymewise. Rhyme wise, I. Uh, that is your wish. Has my client done very well? Uh, um, uh, my apologies, Lin Rhyme wise. I. I don't understand anymore. I don't understand Lord Arn. I don't understand anyone in this mansion. If Lord Arn is the one who attacked Gordon and Hines, then have I made any progress at all? I've learned that everyone was glad that father had been killed. I've learned about their ugly feelings that I had no idea of before. Everything is just a mess. Am I the only one who's sad about all this? But even so, I have to stay strong. Because I'm going to be the family head. As the head of the Rhymewise family, I have to protect everyone. That's why I worked so hard to be a good mistress. But now, I don't know what I should do. At this rate, maybe this search for father's killer is best abandoned. In fact, that might be what's best for everyone. Hey, Lenny. Jisya? yoo -hoo. Ah. Looks like you had a fire, huh? Jisya, did you know that Lord Arn was that kind of person? What kind of person? Arn's not a person, remember? Well, I suppose... Yes, he is a vampire. I don't know anymore. What's right, what to believe. Is it really all that tough? You just gotta not trust? Huh? From the perspective... From the perspective of entities like us... It's your mindset that doesn't make sense. It's user be used, right? No need for trust. Though, it sure is entertaining watching humans worry over that stuff. But it looks to me like you and Lord Arn trust each other. What? Nah, nothing of the sort. I'm only with Arn because I get to see amusing stuff. Because, I mean, isn't an ex heinous vampire really funny? Vampires usually look down on all but their own kind, so Arn's quite the weirdo for letting me use him. Of course, my abilities are are handy to Arn, so he uses me too. But when but when all said and done, doesn't that mean you're together because you trust each other? Uh well, I guess maybe it'd be like that in your terms, Lenny. Eh? 
if that makes sense to you, then that's fine. But I don't think it'll work so well with us. Because the two of you are using me. Yep, we're using you so we can enjoy this case. Even still, I feel like we're better than the people in this mansion. What are you getting at? Just audio check? Alright. Because at least we're using you as a human, Lenny. What's up? You must have had at least a faint idea. That you were their dress-up doll. That's not... That can't be true. I chose this myself. I tried to become a fine noble lady. And I'll become the head of the Rhinewise family. Did you really make those choices yourself? I mean... I mean, what else would I do? I'm the only daughter of the Rhinewise family. I'm the Harris. I... Without that title, what would I even be? What would be left? Oh, Lenny. My tastes make it hard to just tell you to throw out those noble lady clothes, but I think that tra tracksuit looks good on you, too. Kinda does, she looks pretty well. At the very least, it's hard to see you as a noble. And you sure don't strike me as a as an heiress either. <sighs> What's the deal with that tracksuit anyway? One day I snuck out of the house and brought this for myself. As much as I said I wanted one, they wouldn't buy it, so I had to go myself. I was yelled at for leaving the house without permission, and rejected for not dressing as a noble should. I see. And? Now that I think about it, this tracksuit is the one time... The one time since Mother passed that I stuck to my own will, regardless of what others said. Huh? Was that really the only time? Well, no, but it's fine, right? Can I keep looking for Father's Killer? Could it be you're asking me? I guess I am. That's right. If I lose steam and give up now, nothing is going to change. I decided to solve this case. That was my decision. Not as a dress-up doll, out of my own volition as a human. <laughs> That's the ticket. Well, how about this? Maybe you should go solve the case without even having to ask Arn's help. Me? I mean, you drove Arn away. You gotta handle it yourself now, right? It'll be fine. You saw through the lies and the in the alibis all by yourself earlier. Yes, that's right. I can do this myself, even without Lord Arn. To that end, I won't mind you using me. Give me some more entertainment. Still, I don't quite get the concept of using as you two see it, but... You'll lend your aid. Of course. I'm an, a I'm an ally to all smiling girls. That I can't believe. <laughs> well, at any rate, Lenny, I've got some info for you. The short maid, I don't think she went back to her room until the incident happened. Elisa? How about you restart the investigation there? Yeah, she was my number one suspect, I think this kind of confirms it. The possibility that someone in this mansion killed your dad hasn't gone away, has it? Right, I understand, I'll give it a try. If you'll go along with what I say that easily, you're still a puppet after all, you know? Hehe. <laughs> she left. Hmm, good work. While waiting for you, my memories 
have been starting to clear up. So, I was taken over by Nachzera. Man, how lame. It's never happened to me before. So what do you expect? However, while the means were violent, I did obtain information. Lin... Rhymewise doesn't seem pleased about it, however. She's too naive. She still doesn't understand what it means to search for a killer or the danger. Can you expect any better? She's still just a kid. Though, hey, this could be a learning experience. Now, seeing as she doesn't want to see my face, I'll rest for a bit. I must admit, I'm exhausted. Gotcha, figured as much. Leave Lynn to me. As long as there's a mirror around, of course. Yes, that'll do, that'll do. Man, so sloppy. That's part of why Lynn's angry, you know. Oops, already asleep. Acrophobia. Like Tishia said, the possibility of someone from the mansion being the killer hasn't changed. First I need to talk with Elisa. But I should remind myself of what everyone said in their alibis beforehand. Let's see. What did they say about Elisa? She was... I saw her leave the kitchen once. She came to the kitchen and left the water. I left with the water. Master with water, and then was in her room. In my room. Lisa goes to father's room to bring him water at midnight every night. Apparently, he needs that water to take his sleeping pills. But last night, Lisa was told it wasn't necessary. However, Lisa forgot and went to the kitchen and to get a glass of water like usual. And upon reaching the door to father's room, she remembered. She remembered and hastily turned back. So her testimony is that while she didn't meet father, she did go to the third floor and by herself. Considering the timeline, that makes Elisa the likely cause of that shuddering vase I heard. Hmm, still. I don't know if this testimony is enough. Huh? Elisa says she usually watches father take his pills after giving him water, but... What about after that? Especially when you consider she didn't give him the water this time. Isn't that a little strange? The girl felt something amiss with the servant's testimony. There's a contradiction in these three statements. Click the part of the text that's contradictory. Burned apparently saw Elisa her, uh, enter the kitchen. Get some water and leave. But at least I didn't get to give father that water, did she? Saw her leave the kitchen once. She came to the kitchen and left with water. Usually after father drinks his water, at least returns the glass to the kitchen. And Burnt was in the dining room the whole time. Yet... Usually she returns the glass. Kitchen. After Elisa brings water, fa uh, brings father water, she returns the empty glass. I mean, she has to go to the kitchen both to get the water 
and to return the glass. Um... Leave the kitchen once. I think once? Yeah. That's right. Here means at least it didn't go back to the kitchen to return the glass, which still had the water in it. Normally, she'd do that right away. What happened, I wonder? It's notes. Maybe I should ask her about that, too. Never know what might be a clue. Okay, let's talk with Elisa. She's still in the dining room, I bet. I'm going to see Elisa. There's no reason to go this way. Oh, I can go into the maze room. Oh, wait, she's... Never mind, I, I don't want to. She's not in the dining room, so... Uh... Oh, Mistress Lynn, how is Diana? It seems she still needs time to calm down. Is that so? Bern and Hines still seem to be arguing as well. <sighs> uh, where's Elisa? Oh, I told her to go back to her room to check on you two. Did you not pass her by? Uh, that's right. I was out on the terrace with Diana, doing the night breeze. Well, oh, I'll go back on- I'll go check on Elisa then. I see. Please do, Mistress Li- uh, Prison- I don't- I don't- I forgot what it said. Grams- Mistress Lynn, alright. Might be yelled at for entering without permission. <laughs> ah, if it isn't Mistress Lynn, you're so jumpy. You scared me with that. Gordon told me to call you to call for thou. So I was fretting when neither of you were here. Where did you go? I did not be worried. I'm sorry. It seemed Diana wanted to be alone for a little longer. By the way, Elisa, is there something about that closet? Yeah? Ah, uh, uh did, didst I not know I adore closets? Closets? I, I I love the way they look. Verily, I was simply staring at it. There doth be nothing at all inside this closet. I am not suspicious in the least wise. That's way too suspicious. <laughs> Please let me see inside. You can't. There is uh, some underwear that is much too risque for thee, mistress. I'm sure they're all just teddy bear patterned. It seems Elisa absolutely does not want me to see what's inside. What would Elisa want to hide? Could it have to do with, with that sound I heard on my way to father's room? The shattered vase. There's the pieces in there, I think. Might be time to tell a little fib. Luffin. Actually, Elisa, I saw it. Make. Break. I. I saw you break the vase. You see, I caught you in the act. I saw you break the vase. What? I heard a crashing sound, and when I. and I went to look. And when I went to look, there you were. Uh. Uh. Nay, I tell you, that isn't true. 
I just knocked it over is all. It's still a be right there on the second floor, right? Right? No, it isn't. That's the one that was formerly in the... That's the one that was formerly in the storeroom. Because the vase is missing from the storeroom. Ah, well... Surely Burn must have broken it then. And Diana said it herself, that Burn is a thief. For a suit. At least it... Do you also think Burn is... Burn is stealing things? I'm sure it must be so. What a bitch. <laughs> so, if you want me to give back anything Burn gave me, say the word and I will. I had no idea he was doing such vile things. Really? Even if Burned being a thief is true. It's not good to blame anything on him, is it? Kind of is, but alright. You will... Why... Won't test... You believe me. Elisa's reaction makes it clear that she's hiding the vase. But she isn't going to just tell me the truth at this rate. What else can I do? Ah, maybe. Heinz told me that there was a thing Elisa hadn't returned it to the kitchen. That must have been something to do with this. Well then, Elisa. What about you know what? Uh, she'll just say no what. You should. It's nowhere to be found either. And it doesn't appear to be somewhere out in the open in this room either. So where'd it go? Where's the vase under her glass? Where? <laughs> I am so tempted to click on underwear. <laughs> Where's the underwear? Show it to me. Where's the vase? Show it to me. Where did the vase go? I doth told you, Bird stole it. She's just going to repeat the same story at this rate. Fuck. Where's the underwear? In that case, show me the risque underwear. I, I can't, it's much too embarrassing. I cannot not blame you for taking interest, but maybe when you're a little older? At least, it, what kind of underwear are we talking here? The glass. <laughs> Father, Father's glass. You always return to the kitchen. But Heinz told me that you hadn't yet. Wait, 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 hold on. I want to restart this. Just in case. Alright, alright. Hmm? Oh, right. I forgot about this. Gordon starts his mornings by watering the plants in, his, in this room. Grabs.
Um, where's the glass? Show it to me. Father's glass, you always return to the kitchen. But Heinz told me that you hadn't yet. It wasn't in Father's room. And it's not in this room either. So where is it? Did you break it alongside the vase? Ah. Also, if you could go into more detail about the risky underwear later. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Please at least spare with me that. It's too soon for thee to engage in these things. Elisa, seriously, what kind of underwear is this? <laughs> the rewards. Risque underwear as the notes. Jesus fucking Christ. So you tried to pour the water from the glass to the vase and broke both? I was up very late the night before, searching for you, Mistress Lin. So even the act of going to the kitchen made me barely sleepy. I'm sorry about that too. So then, after breaking the vase, you were hastily cleaning the hallway and looking for a replacement. And that's when I heard the Fern's voice. I just finished destroying the evidence and was standing by the second floor of vase with relief. I see. Why did you have to do all that to hide that? A fear of. Eh? Huh? I was afraid of Gordon yelling at me. Huh? Doth not even know, Mistress Lin, the true rage Gordon can unleash. He yells at me at least ten times a day, and yesterday I was set to break my record. Again, Elisa? He, he was certain to scare me half to death. Don't you realize, Mistress Lin? Since around the hundredth thing I broke, my senses have become numb. I've come I've come to think it's only natural that I break things. Why does he yell at me so when I'm only doing something natural? Mistress Lin, please keep this from Gordon. Please keep it a secret. Sugar Gordon, how doth he do? Sure enough, that broken vase was your doing. Now, would you tell me all about it nice and slowly? I'm sorry, please forgive it me. Elisa, we'll go to my room. Sniffle. For Zoop. Mistress Lin, I'm terribly sorry, but our discussion about the future must wait until everyone's calmed down. Yes. Hang in there, Elisa. Sure enough, the broken vase and glass are here. But not much else of note. So we're back to square one. <laughs> Still, steadily work. Wait, still, steadily working on, steadily working these things out is important. Surely, I was able to expose Diana and Elisa's lies all on my own. Yeah, this is fine. I can manage this even by myself. It seems it'll take time for everyone to settle down. I should go back to my room and sort out what I've learned. Wait, I wanna... I can hear Gordon scolding Elisa. 
I better not go in there. <laughs> Let's go back to my room for now. Oh, you bitch. Huh? There's something on the wall. What's this about? Waiting in the courtyard. Is this from Lord Arn? I wonder why. Does he want to apologize once more or something? No, surely not, but... Even supposing he did apologize, would I be able to forgive him? If we end up working together to investigate again, Yes, I should really give some thought to how to handle the relationship between us. At any rate, I'll go. Sounds like Heinz and Bert are still arguing. Let's not go this way. Let's go to the courtyard. Alright, fine. There is just no free will in this game. Lord Arn yet. Where in the courtyard should I go? Oh. Oh. Lord Arn. Where could he be? Oh, it's just me, bitch. Oh, what's the matter? What's wrong? It's me, remember? Yeah. Huh? Why are you attacking me? Guard dogs bared their fangs and howled, preparing to leap at the girl any moment. The dogs leapt straight ahead. The girl desperately dodged out of the way. What's wrong with you? It's me! Eek. Please stop it. What should I do? I'm cornered. I still haven't accomplished anything. And yet, someone, Lord Arn. You called? Lord Arn, why didn't you leave? What did I need to leave for? Said you didn't want. You said you didn't want to see my face, so I simply stayed some some place where you could, where you wouldn't. More to the point, why are you out here being attacked? Attacked? I don't understand it either. Why are the dogs? <laughs> why is there a cat voice? Where's the cat? Hmm. Talk about gnawing off the arm that feeds you. You've never heard that? It's a saying in Japan. Such incessant barking. They're like dogs. They are dogs. Ah, I see. So they're curs who forget lessons. They were already taught once. Be gone. Uh, um, thank you so much. Indeed, you should be grateful. But I'm not going to forgive you just for this, Lord Arn. Ah, uh, yes, about that. There's something I must tell you about. If you care to listen, that is. What is it? It may get a little long. Let us return to your room. Understood. Fucking hell. Oro? Tch. 
And so, in summary, control of my body has b had been taken from me. Do you think I'm going to believe that? I should hope you will, because it's the truth. In essence, this personality of mine also comes from this, uh, this body's one remaining heart. And thus, I too am ultimately a puppet. Quite delightful, is it not? Feel free to laugh. I wouldn't do that. To me, you're just door darn. Hmm, is that so? Let me ask a few questions. What is it? Even if it wasn't your intention, Lordarn, do you have any thoughts about the people you attacked? Does it matter what I think? It wasn't the current me who did it. But no, I didn't have any special thoughts. Then why did you apologize to me? Because it appeared I quite troubled you by having my body taken over by that fellow. It was an apology for my blunder, in essence. Wow, my eyesight really has gotten worse. It's like going from 480p graphics to, to 1080. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> then one last question. Lord Arn, are you using me? Indeed I am. For the sake of solving this case. It would be a pain to gather info from around this mansion all by myself. So I'd like to curtail the tedium. So as to enjoy this case as much as possible. What about it? Even if we can speak to each other, vampires and humans really do think differently, huh? I'm not certain how exactly we differ. But that much should be obvious. Vampires and humans are separate creatures. Humans can understand the thoughts of animals, yes? Even so, I feel like if I properly explain my feelings, he should be able to understand. Even he should be able to understand. No, I guess that's wrong. Because even if I understand his explanation, it doesn't mean I'm okay with it. Trying to force different values on others won't resolve anything. But still, the using he talks about. What is it, Lynn Ryan Weiss? You've grown quiet all of a sudden. Ah, come on! Why am I the only one so troubled, troubled by everything? Don't start shouting out of the blue. Understand? I won't forgive what you did, Lord Arn. I don't care if your body was taken over by another vampire or whatever. In fact, it's all your fault to begin with for losing your own blood, of all things. So sure enough, the fundamental issue lies with you. What are you doing losing when you call yourself the most heinous of vampires? Ah, S sorry. I might have gone a little too far. Uh-huh. Is that how it is? Understood, Lin Ryan Weiss. So, are you irritated by my incompetence? No, that's not really it, but... Say again? Jeez. But Arn, I... Well, for humans in general, it's painful to be hurt by those we're close to. And for whatever reason, you can't understand that. But even if you can understand, could you at least keep it in mind? Right, I'll keep it in mind. Thank you very much. And also, sorry for hitting you. Don't worry about it. You might as well have been petting me. More importantly, I've been eager to hear what information you've gathered. More importantly, <sighs> Understood. Alright, listen. Well, to my efforts... Is this enough, I wonder? It feels like... 
Feels like only a temporary measure. If we keep this investigation... If we keep investigating together... And run into another conflict... Enough of that. Organizing your information comes first for now. Why is this game so fucking long? Um... Well, that's everything I learned. And what I know about the vampire... Nachzira, I remember. Hmm... I have no issues with your findings... About the actions of the humans, but... You say Nachzira is known as the Lord of Shadows. Wait, when did we learn that? And is... Belligerent with a serious appetite. Isn't that far too little to go on? What do you expect? There's not much in the literature. Very well, I suppose. This case is connected to Nachzira's art, isn't it? Mm. Your father likely used it. Out of his desire to revive your mother. Perhaps it was even the killers themselves who taught him the black magic of reviving the dead. The dying by pedigree is, com uh, is convenient as well. The influence held by nobles can often extend over to the police as after all. Furthermore, whatever his methods, it was your rather it was your father gathering human body parts. If this mental state was unstable as well, it would be easy to pin all the blame on him if needed. I suppose so, but I'll never forgive them for using father's feelings. Well then, allow me to sort out your information to help reveal said killer. Yes, go right ahead. What? What is all this? Cute! So cute! Right. It's your first time seeing it. Simply put, it's a stage made from my blood. Evilly! Bloodily! Adorably! Nyan Tote! I forgot how you say it. I thought it good to see you cheering up, but stop that at once. Ah, I just started doing it subconsciously. Everything I'd been stubbornly keeping in, keeping in came out just like that. Say, Lenny, here's something you might appreciate. Jisye, what is it? Arn's bored all the time, so he practices doing this all by himself. That's too cute! I just want to decorate my room with you! Nope, not possible. The blood returns to my body... My, the blood returns to my body when it's done. No, I was talking about you, Lord Anne. Me? Boy, Lenny, you really are strange. Nothing of the sort. Drilling again. Ah. Well, you see, when humans get excited, their body temperature rises, and, and so to lower it, that's sweat. This is going nowhere. Let us ignore Lynn Ryan Weiss for now. Yeah, I don't know why I said for now. It wasn't there. I'm too, I'm too fucking drunk for this shit. And my controller is disconnecting all the time, and I don't know why. Huh? What? Please let me join join in on this too. You become awfully bothersome. You become awfully bothersome all of a sudden when the subject is vampires. Just stay there and be quiet. Leave it to me. 
Let us organize the information Lin Ryan Wise gather. All right, first. Hold on a second. You've got a map of the mansion and dolls of everyone? Don't be surprised at every turn. That's not happening. I'll just ignore you for a while. All that needs to be made clear is this case, ultimately. Wait, all that needs to be clear in this case, ultimately, is who killed Lin Rhymeweiss's father. Thus, the only action we need... Thus, the only action we need to inspect, which they, they didn't put it there, are those of the humans in the mansion. Before and after the incident. The first ones to act before Lynn Rhymeweiss received a call from her father were the two maids. First, the short maid left of her room. First, the short maid left her room to go to the kitchen. In so doing, she met the garden the chef, neither of whom moved until the incident occurred, yes? Yes, that's what they said. Incidentally, I take it you asked the guard, the maid, and the cook individually? Well, naturally, I questioned all three separately, and they all gave the same story. In that case, good. Now let's proceed. While this short maid was in the kitchen, another person left her room. Surely you know where she was headed. Of course. The bathroom, father's room, the second guest room. Second floor guest room. The guest room on the second floor. Precisely. But... How do you know it happened in this order? Actually, I was watching from this mirror here. Yes, Jixi saw both maids head to the second floor. The tall maid passed by here first. Oh, I see. In short, if anyone tried to go to the third floor, they would be witnessed by Jixi on the second floor. Or the guard in the dining room. I see. Of course. The guard is also a suspect, so we can't fully believe him. But for the moment, there are no contradictions in the people he claimed to witness for the time. In this in addition, Zisia was generally watching everything, so it should be no issue to proceed like this. Understood. And then she waited there. Then the maid left the kitchen, right around when the gardener was spotted in the back. Oh, the gardener wanted to reach the maid waiting on the second floor, but... Ah, uh, my leg, I can't move. Huh? What? Look for a way next to the, next to the terrace? But I, I can't move? Huh? Game? I can't... It's not moving in any way. Um... Did the game crash? Did the game fucking freeze? Continue with this. The gardener 
wanted to reach the maid waiting on the second floor, but I can move. I can move. Yes, take the ladder. Incidentally, Tichi also saw the two of them in the guest room. Huh? Then, I didn't need to see through Diana's lies? You can generally assume that Tichi saw everything in any rooms- in any rooms of mirrors. My hard work. But they quickly went into a blind spot, and I don't know what they were doing. So, Lenny did good. I sure did. Well... But there's no way to verify whether what the maid said is true or not. If Tisha hadn't seen it, he wouldn't know if she was really in the guest room. By the way, then rhyme vice. Yes. Do you think it would be possible to carry the ladder to the terrace on the second floor? I wonder. That ladder is really big. Kai always seemed to just drag it around. And also, there's a fence on the terrace. It would probably be hard to do alone, right? Hmm, indeed. Tisia, was there any con- Wait. Tisia, was there any indication that the gardener left the room alone, then re-entered the mansion? Not just limited to the second floor guest rooms. Say, the third floor guest room, perhaps? Unfortunately, I didn't see. Right. Understood. Yep. I saw her pass through. Yes, yes, we get it. The maid went to her master's room. Right at midnight every night. But then, she recalled that on this day, she'd been told he didn't need water. Just around this time, Lynn Reinweiss received a call from her father. Now, they both began to move. I forgot to record. I forgot to record. I forgot to record. I forgot to record. It's fine. It seems like the connection is decent right now. The maid couldn't be bothered to return the glass to the kitchen. So, she tried to transfer the water to a vase, but broke both. While she was doing this, Lynn Reinweiss prioritized going to her father's room. And there she arrived. Now, as for the maid's actions afterward... The maid went to destroy the evidence, but... Clean up. Didn't go this way. <laughs> oh, I guess this is the only way. Alright. Storeroom. Oh, there's the base. I swear to- okay. I saw that question mark, uh, no, not question mark, I saw the exclamation mark and I was just like, no, don't you dare say act my leg, I can't move. <laughs> now every time I'm gonna see that exclama exclamation mark, I'm just gonna assume that, I'm just gonna assume the worst. Obtain the vase. Just before Elisa heard... What? Just before... Elisa heard first witness burned scream. What the fuck does that mean? It seems she was in the storeroom. Knowing her, it wouldn't surprise me if she was searching for a vase the whole time. She's so dim-witted. That's true. In summary, let's say she took about five minutes cleaning up. And was searching the storeroom for a vase when you delightfully passed out. What do you mean, delightfully? 
If only she'd been left cleaning up the vase for later. She could have entered the storeroom sooner. Hmm. At this time, everyone but the guard was inside a room. A convenient time to act without anyone seeing. As for this butler, it's not even necessary to give it thought. Given the placement of his room, he'd, inev he'd inevitably encounter someone going anywhere. If he went to the second floor, he'd pass Cecil's mirror. If he went east, he'd encounter the guard. That's right. After doing some reading in his room, Gordon apparently talked with Hines in the kitchen. Burns says he saw them too. And there was no contradiction with Heinz's testimony. Incidentally, what was he talking? Wait, incidentally, what was he talking with the chef about? The food menu for next week. The next week and budgets apparently. What a serious and dull old coot. Dull old coot. That's such a crude way to treat him. At 12.30, the guard was evidently called for by your father. Even Byrne didn't seem to know why he was called. I recall your father said something about leaving the house together, did he not? Yes. If that's indeed what was going on, then perhaps the guard was meant to be the first witness. Meant to be? There was the corpse resembling your father, yes? He wanted to see it, and think he'd been murdered. Well, though he was in fact murdered. Father, why would you do something like that? But wait, why not just let the mates discover it in the morning? Indeed, I can see no merit to making the guard discover it. Perhaps that wasn't the killer's plan. Well, more possibilities make it all the more delightful. There's nothing delightful about it. After the guard used his key to open the door, he found you uncouthly passed out next to the corpse and screamed. Hold on, what's that uncouthly for? By the way, your father was holding his room key. Who else had a duplicate key? Besides Burned, the butler Gordon and the two maids also had the keys. That's far too many. Oh, but Elisa doesn't have one anymore. About a month ago, she flushed hers down a toilet. Since then, she hasn't been allowed her own. Instead, she has to borrow Gordon's. And if she doesn't give it right back, she gets yelled at. What kind of system is that? And so then... Wait, so then. Back to the short maid. Just before the guard found the corpse, she went down the second floor to replace the vase. Yes, she said Burns' scream almost caused her to break that vase too. And in response to the guard's pathetic scream, the short maid, Elisa, and the tall maid, Diana, the two the two of them assembled, but what could the guard do? But what was the guard doing at that time? Burns extremely averse to blood, so he was dancing, passing out, or reading. Well, I mean, what else was he doing? Passing out. It seems he fainted. Huh? Burned can't stand the sight of blood at all. For instance. Elisa sometimes blunders and cuts her finger, and every time Burn, uh, and every time Burn runs over out of worry, and that little bit of blood makes him faint. What a useless fellow! Isn't the fact you might discover a corpse someday the best part about being a guard? I'd hope that's a really rare occurrence. On the other hand, impressive. Wait, on the other hand, impressive he could become a guard. Well, at any rate, the maids then called for the others.
and they too assembled. That concludes our sorting out of the info. We also have a sufficient idea of motives. However, before we consider who the killer is, there's one thing I want to confirm with you. What is it? Lynn Reinweiss. Those dogs of yours seem quite superb. Indeed, they will attack anyone but specific people, as demonstrated earlier. Yes, they should be friendly only to myself, father, and the gardener, Kai. Then, why do you think you were attacked? Uh... It's simple. There was something... There was something different about you. You were attacked, in fact, because they were too talented. Something different? So, just what was it? Appearance, voice, or scent? Hold on. Um... Appearance? Because usually she doesn't wear the tracksuit, she only wears it like in her room in private. And then like when she's outside, she wears like a dress, right? So appearance? Could it be my appearance? You're certain? I mean, hold on, I don't remember. Was, was there something that she did to her voice or scent? I'll just reset if it's wrong. Exactly. Since I was wearing a tracksuit. Do you always wear the same clothes around the dogs? No, of course not. And also, I'm sure they've seen me in my tracksuit before. They have? How the fuck was I supposed to know? So it's a different reason, not your appearance. And then, I guess scent. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm resetting. Wait. There was no save. I'll reset. It's fine. It's fine. I'll reset anyway. Oh wait, no, no, no. What the fuck did I do? Hold on, I opened the wrong thing. Okay, hold on. Oh boy. Well. There's a save available, but... I mean, I figured out how to skip the dialogue, so, or at least in, in part. At least we can vibe to the music, right? Uh, I should have made tea beforehand, because this is not going to work well for me. This part is gonna be in my nightmares. <laughs> this one part. I like how it's just floating behind them. That's amazing. Dogs have had. Alright. I'm 
I'm trying to think, because I can't remember what it was that that is different about her. I mean, it's been a couple days since I played this, and because like, the game soft locked me, I couldn't fucking help it. Um. I think it's voice. I think it probably sent. But what what was it that like made her change? Could it be my scent? You're certain? Exactly. Oh wait, that's it. After regaining cons consciousness, I had blood on my clothes, so, so I changed. But I'm sure just changing clothes didn't remove the scent of someone else's blood. Ah. I didn't notice it myself, but maybe the dogs responded to it? Exactly. I'm sensitive to the smell of blood as well. And though it's faint, you do smell the blood. And it's not your own. In short... Hold on a second. What? I'm getting to the important part. Oh, your blood went back. So you got big again. Wait, not that. You could smell blood on me too, Lord Arn? I said as much, didn't I? And so... No, 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 no. Not and so. That's really kind of embarrassing. Hmm? Look, it's fine. Now. N no, it's not. Now that I think about it, I haven't bathed two nights in a row. Ah, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I can't stop. I can't focus on what you're saying like this. I'm going to take a bath. Hey, hold on. We can talk later. Jishia. Lin, right? I know, leave it to me. Oh, but I won't look inside the bath, of course. I'm a gentleman, see? Yes, yes, so you say. But still... Why is Lynn Reinweiss taking a bath of, all of a sudden? Wait a minute... No... Surely it's... Not... What I think, right? You definitely don't get a girl's heart, Arn. I mean... You need to get human feelings first. What are you talking about? Does she probably understand why she was attacked by the guard dogs? The note that called for her. The knowledge that she had the scent of blood on her. Certainly she's... The next one the killer is after. Maybe she was embarrassed enough that she couldn't even afford to consider that stuff. Utterly unbelievable. Ah, I'm revived. Truly. Lord Arn has no delicacy. Real vampires turned out to be completely different from what I from what I imagined. It's really kind of a shock. <sighs> I've been disillusioned. But vexing as it is, their abilities are still cool. Really now, what's with you, Lord Arn? Come 
come to think of it, I wonder if vampires take baths. I've read that they can't stand running water. I should ask him later. Well, never mind that. I need to thoroughly wash off this blood scent. If Lord... Yeah. If Lord Arn hadn't saved me, I might have died. I don't have the power to protect myself. Of course, I understand that wisdom alone isn't enough. So I need Lord Arn's help, but... Hmm, I really do need to think about how to go about interacting with him. Lord Arn uses me, uses me and this case to enjoy himself. And I use his strength and wisdom to help solve the case. But when I say I'm using him to solve the case, aren't I just trusting that he can do it? Isn't this so confusing? Just what is the difference? Humans and vampires, Lord Darn and I, trusting, using. Hmm? Come to think of it, why was I attacked? Actually, there was that note in my room, and the fact that I had blood on me, that wasn't a coincidence, was it? Ahem. <laughs> Then Rhymevice, how long are you going to be in there? Isn't this much too long for a bath? Well now, Lynn Rhymevice. Oh. Killed by the culprit after all? Huh. Okay, I was thinking the complete wrong thing then. Uh... Uh Hmm. Well, you're still alive. I'll get you out of there for now. Lord are no. That was clearly a fatal wound. So I thought you were long since dead. I see. I'm going to die even when I'm suddenly on the verge of death you aren't surprised well I was able to predict it so did you see the culprit's face they suddenly came from behind so I didn't see uh, how useless that's cruel it was you who didn't listen to everything I had to say Right. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Mother said she wanted to die smiling. Hmm? Are you happy to die? That's not it. Did your mother die happy? She said she wanted to live. I see. So. Lynn Rhymevice, what about you? I... I also want to live. That should be obvious. I haven't accomplished anything. Just in case. Even though I'd finally decided I'd do something on my own, I chose to all by myself. I'll catch father's killer. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I don't want to die yet. I don't want... Hmm, I see. Yet very soon you will undoubtedly die. Toyed with by the killer, never to be the starring role. You were a hopeless puppet in the end. Just do as a supporting character does, and step off the stage of this puppet show. But I'll give you a small mercy. If you have any last words, I'll hear them. Ease my blood.
Hmm? I didn't quite catch that. Please, suck my blood. Lin, Lin Rhymevice, you... <laughs> to, to think you'd be saying that even now. Those who have their blood sucked by a vampire become the vampire's puppet, gaining miraculous healing. But just like it sounds, a puppet is a puppet, with no sense of self. They only obey the vampire. So you're saying you wish to live, even if it means becoming a true puppet. Ah. We're talking about the vampire fanatic. So, that's not what you mean to say. A puppet is not a vampire. So puppets are not immortal. As such, they cannot recover from such a fatal wound. You... You want the blood of... I need to look up how to say this again. Well done. I got... Uh... Uh... Uh, I can't hear that. Nine two two, right? You want the blood of nine two two, don't you? I don't need the blood of nine two two. Oh, Lord Arn, it's fine. What do you mean? Give me Lord Arn's. Please give me Lord Arn's blood. My blood? Is that different from the blood of Nine Tooth? Answer me, Lin Rhymevice. Don't just go ahead and die, you. <sighs> Very well, Lin Rhymevice. You may live a little longer. So you can still use your voice? Don't speak in the middle of it. This looks really wrong out of context. I feel like I've done something I really shouldn't have. There. The blood sucking you so desired. Rejoice. I guess it is, but... I should have black eye. Was that was in there before? What the heck was that? Yeah, what the heck was with that reluctant blood sucking? Hmm. You seem to move well enough. Ah. Thank you very much. There's no need to thank me. After all, in just a few minutes, you'll become a mere puppet and mere death. Before that happens, answer my question. What do you mean by my blood? By Lord, Lord Arn's blood? I mean Lord Arn's blood. Yes, I'm asking you what that means. The blood that runs through this body is that of my one remaining heart. In short, it isn't mine. Maybe that's true, but the blood of the other kings is here too, right? Indeed it is. If you dissolve salt in pure water, it becomes salt water, right? There's no turning it back into pure water. I thought maybe this was the same thing. Well... Yeah, no, I guess you can't turn it... Can you turn... You, um, you can turn it back into pure water, right? No, you can turn water, salt water into salt. But I guess you can't turn salt water into pure water. I guess. Or can you? I don't know, any scientists in chat? In other words, the one heart serving as master 
and eight other kinds of blood mixing in. Is that what my blood is? And now, my blood is mixed in there too. Indeed. Vampires do not digest the blood they drink. It mixes with their own and enters the body. I see. An interesting thought. I'll keep that in mind. So, please don't make me sad by calling yourself a puppet. <laughs> Quite a thing to be told by someone about to become a puppet. Well, Lynn Reinweiss, I no longer have a use for you, but... I at least extended the time until your death. Shall we enjoy a last conversation? Uh... I was thinking about the relation between humans and vampires. No, me and you. And I thought so deeply about it, I just got myself confused. Hmm? I trust in your strength and wisdom. Even now, I think they can solve this case. But you were using me to investigate the mansion, right? Exactly. Trusting and using. It's all a matter of the distance between hearts. I had no other option but to get your help, but... I'm sure even if I'd refused to investigate, you wouldn't have found... You would have found another way to solve the case. Naturally. I expect you'll have no problems even with you dead. Well, of course. You have plenty of information now. However, with the death of my client, my duty to solve the case also disappears. No, I'm going to solve this case. Just give it up already, Lin Reinweiss. What are you trying to get at? You mentioned your relation with me. Lord Arn, I... Oh. I'm going to use you. Use me? You? A human? <laughs> Such a fool up to your last moments, Lin Reinweiss. You were at least a little amusing. But do you think I would accept having you use me? If I let myself be used, it would... Not be interesting. Ah. But... If that were an interesting turn of events, what then? While I said I'm going to use you, I do truly believe in your abilities. I can't imagine I'd be able to solve this case without your help, Lord Arn. So, until this case is over, use me. Have me dance in your palm and entertain you. Go ahead, use me as a tool. If that really is the appropriate stage for me. So, the show we've been having until now wasn't appropriate for you? Of course it wasn't. I'm not a puppet. I'm a human with my, with my own will. There's no way the puppet show I've been a part of until now was where I belonged. I... I am the star of this show. Only I can lead the role in this case. Any play in which I'm not the star... is a complete piece of junk. <laughs> you want me to once more put you on the show where you are the star? Lord Arn, are you going to say you can only put on a puppet show... You can only put on puppet shows made of blood? So I'm to manipulate a human with a will, as a human, keeping her human. But Lynn Reinweiss... Did you not say yourself? I don't think... I don't understand the feelings of humans. Do you think I could put on such a show? You can always use me for guidance, right? I'll certainly let you do so. And doesn't the added difficulty posed by you not understanding make things more delightful? Furthermore, my delightfulness is Lord Arn approved. <laughs> Indeed. I've never met a human as delightful as you. And you know, if I'm the audience for this stinker, if, for the stinker of, the sh of a show we've had, I'm booing the heck out of it. I'm here thinking, give me my money back. And as a client too, I'm terminating my contract with this lousy detective. I've already paid a fee up front. 
so I have a right to pay it, to take it back. <laughs> I see, I see. Terminating the contract. <laughs> and paying you back. I never thought of that. How delightful. Uh, you are truly delightful, Lin Rhymevice. You'll give it back, won't you? My blood. Are you saying that with a true understanding of what it means to give you my blood? Yes. Trading our blood. In other words, in other words, performing a blood pact. And turning you into a vampire. However, I should make it clear up front. There is no guarantee a blood pact will succeed. Even so. If there's a chance I can survive. To both use you and to be used by you. I'm not going to die. Right. Get up, Lin Rhymevice. That's not exactly getting up, Lin, but alright. Now, have you any final words as a human? Even if my body becomes a vampire's, I'm sure my heart will remain human. I see no need for final words. <laughs> I see. Then let us begin, Lin Rhymevice. Ye of pure white, be dyed crimson in your entirety. Thy soul will be forever trapped here, your soul rendered meaningless. Upon the name of our ninth tooth, this I declare. The name of our new buffoonish compatriot is Lin Rhymevice. Now, let us dance together joyously. Some of these shots out of context look really bad. The rest is up to you, Lin Rhymevice. Rise once more onto the stage. Finally finished this fucking thing. Uh, still pissed that it soft locked me, but hey, what can you do? At least I got to finish it in the end, and there's still two um, two episodes. So, oh hi. Still unsure on who the killer is. Cuz. I, th I think the only one that I'm kind of convinced isn't the killer is the butler Gordon. And then everyone else is a complete mystery to me. No, actually, no. I think also the guard. I think the guard is also safe because there's no way he could have killed anyone because as soon as he sees blood, he faints. So, I don't think it can be him. Also. Like, he could not have... 
You could not have pulled it off, I don't think. Yoo-hoo! We meet again. Enjoying the case? Okay, on to the real business. Actually, I also think... What was her name? Uh, the Tall Maid. I think it- I think she might also be safe because she's scared of heights. So that just leaves... Kai and... And... Elisa. And the chef also. Arn's about to find the killer, but do you want to try finding them first? Don't worry. You've got all the information you need to reason things out. Though, it looks like Arn will need a little more time to notice. Okay. I think... Gordon, Burned, and Diana are probably safe. And I think Lynn is also probably safe. Why are Arn and Lynn there? That throws me off completely. Because now I'm starting to think that this is like a story where like... Where... Where the main characters are like a suspect, but there's no reason to think that. I think Elisa was probably the closest to doing it because she could fit through the vent, so she had an easy way of escaping. I'm thinking it's her. Because... Hold on. What did they say about the ladder reaching to the third floor? Hold on. I forgot. What did... Um... They mentioned something about the ladder maybe being able to reach the third floor. Like a hypothetical, like maybe could it reach? Oh god, shut up. Mm, not just limited to the second floor guest room, say the third floor guest room perhaps? Unfortunately, I didn't see. Right, understood. So that's still a possibility. There's also a fence on the terrace. It would probably be hard to do alone, right? Indeed. Was there any indication that the gardener left the room alone, then re-entered the mansion? And he didn't see. Hmm. I think Heinz might be safe, right? Because he would have to... He would have to pass both the guard and Zizia. So... They would see him leave, right? Like, they would see him pass by. Well, I guess maybe he could... Oh, but Gor wait, no, Gordon was talking to Heinz about stuff. I think Heinz might be safe. So it's between Elisa and Kai for me. I don't know why I'm like... Well, now, who could the killer of Lin's father be? Oh, me? 
Heck, I don't know. Not that I'd tell you if I did. So, that's that. Give your best shot. Imagine it really is him. Just random. He's been lying to us the whole time. Unless it's Arn and Lin, or like Arn or Lin, but that doesn't make sense. Because why would Lin like almost kill herself in the uh, in the bath? Got it? Oh, right. You messed up with your reasoning here and there. On the way here, huh? Too bad. I had a reward for you and everything. Well, if you feel like it, try getting here one more time. The parts that matter for my w reward are the confrontation between the maids, Diana and Elisa, as well as the guard burned. Don't mess him up this time, alright? Okay, that's the end of this installment of the Casebook of Arn. Alright then, see ya. Should I try and getting should I try to get the reward? Well now, who could the killer of Lin's father be? Oh, me? Heck, I don't know. Not that I'd tell you if I did. So that's that. Give me your best shot. Got it? Huh? Come to think of it, you've been doing a pretty bang up job. That's pretty impressive to make it this far without any mistakes. Well, here's a reward for your efforts, from me to you. What I'm about to show you is just one of many worlds, a story that might have happened. Sit back and enjoy. Hold on, I need to turn off the lights for this. Let's watch. Alright then, see ya. Yes, yeah. Why didn't you wake me up? You're the one who didn't wake up. No matter how hard I, no matter how hard I tried to make you, Arn. I'm going to be late to school at this rate. Let's hurry. I slept in way too long. I'm going to be late. What is this, an OVA? I need to hurry. Wow. Yeah. We're gonna... Crash! <laughs> Wait, who's this old coop? <laughs> okay, sure. I <laughs> Was it worth replaying the whole game for that? No. 